Chichi! The Mouthful Podcast is brought to you by GoodGame.Rock, the most welcoming gaming community on Facebook. Visit us at www.goodgame.rocks. Welcome back, guys. <laughs> this is Arnaldo, <laughs> a.k.a. Mad Dog, and that is, of course, David, a.k.a. Dream Twister, and this is The Real, episode 282 of Gigi's The Mouthful Podcast. Yay! And for the record, uh, I, I don't have a friend called Adonis. I, I just, I made him up. Uh, I, you know, that's, there's, I, I changed the names to protect the innocent. That's what it was. Yeah, there you go. Okay. So you did have a friend. His just name wasn't Adonis. Okay. Right, exactly. Okay. Let's say it wasn't, it wasn't All Adonis. the events here are true. We have changed the names to protect the innocent. Okay. Exactly. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. When that I said that I went to uh, You Can Send the Blocks, Jordan's birthday, I meant <clears throat> Alice Cooper, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I meant. Clearly, yeah. it's that's code. It's it's that's clearly code for exactly. Alice Cooper. I mean, yeah. how could you not get that? You know, I mean, how, how is that not self-explanatory? Exactly, uh, <laughs> <laughs> sir. It is Friday. It is podcast day. I am. Both, oh, God bless this Friday. Yes, I'm both elevated by the fact that it's Friday and we're off for two days, and also extremely tired from the week that <laughs> from the week that was. <laughs> you, you had you you had like a two week vacation. You came back. You slammed that wall of reality, and. <laughs> And for the next five days, you went through the through the grinder, through the through the ringer, much, and the man, grinder. It's like then, uh, you know, life is life is a uh, life is one of those. Uh, what do you call it? It's like a it's like a workout, basically. You know, it's like yes, it's like a workout. You just realize like, the moment you stop the workout and you go back, you realize, damn, I should have just kept going because <laughs> because <laughs> now now, I, I now I'm out of shape again. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Live yeah. is XP ninety. <laughs> Is that what yes. it's called? PX90. <laughs> exactly. Nice. PX90. Yes. Yes. You know, I almost got that one time. No, what? It, I almost got that one, but I did get insanity. Did I ever tell you about that, that I got the insanity video? Oh, um, I had a doomsday to run that time. <laughs> so, oh, shout out to okay. doomsday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I had gotten the insanity. He was my trainer. Workout, and it's one of those things where you know it's like supposed to, insanity in the sense that it's like works everything out in like a right. thirty to forty minute you know thing, and I didn't buy it though. For the record, I didn't buy it. I, I did end up pirating it because I was like, I'm gonna buy this and then not use it. You know what I mean? So you if know, I pirate it, then I feel like uh, at least if I don't use it, I got it's not it. wasted money, right? There you go, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we tell ourselves when, yeah. when we commit the crimes exactly uh the <laughs> the sad part is uh that the joke was on me uh because i literally did just a 10 minute warm up and was Detour. i was about i was about dead i was about dead oh, wow i was laid out on the floor like oh my god this is ridiculous and of course they're going on i'm like no 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 I hit, I hit no. stop <laughs> i was like no this is uh i need to you know what maybe i need to work up work my way up to it and uh yeah probably so, i mean <laughs> right, you you insanity is because you already have the lifestyle you know <laughs> yeah everybody in there is already really fit you know what i mean and yeah. uh uh, here I am, slobbingly, you know, just jumping in, thinking I could just just do it. You know what I mean? And sweating <laughs> alcohol. Really you know what I mean? As like I'm alcohol. doing it and shit. You know, it's like where did that come from? I haven't drank in two days, but it's in there, and this shit, <laughs> this shit will ring it out. Um, so no, I um, I I I, I went, you know, I was drenched in sweat. I went to take a shower, <laughs> and I am literally in fear that I'm about to have a heart attack because I'm having like palpitations, <laughs> and I'm just like. Oh my god! I don't feel well. I don't feel well. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. You know, yeah. I've overdid it. You know, uh, and the, and his sad part is that I was by myself, right? So, like, like my office at work. I was working late uh, during these times, and I think I had like three days off. Uh -huh. And so this is one of my 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 days off. 
So I'm working, you know, I do this. I'm in the shower. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to fucking pass out here. They're going to mm-hmm. find my naked dead ass here. <laughs> and that will be the last of it. Every That's the last thing people will ever remember of Mad Dog. They found his ass naked dead <laughs> from insanity. <laughs> but he died from a workout that he did. Yeah, you he know? died a man. <laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. There's always a spin, I'm sure, that you know someone will try to do. So, you know, he's saying, Mira, tanto, so, so much exercise, and he, he ended up killing over and dying anyway. Mm-hmm. After all the exercise. That's how, that's how, uh, that's what that's I, why felt, I don't exercise. <laughs> that's, that's how they spin it, you know. That's how, yeah, yeah. Um, anyway. Exercise a murder, man. Yeah, it can be when you overdo it. It can be, but I need to. Yeah, it would, it. yeah, no, I no control. I remember one time I went to uh, one of the first times that I went uh, to the gym with my with my wife actually, um, and I thought, oh, I can. I'm sure I hadn't gone in a while, you know, since then. And I I just started up, you know, that day. Going with her, so of course, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm gonna pick up where I left off, and it, it's not like I had to make some amazing progress, but I was definitely not ready to pick up where I left off. But I tried anyway. I gave it my best shot, and do. Uh, so, so it was um, arms and 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 chest, chest day, I guess. Yeah, and. I have for the next few days. I had the worst pain that I could that that I could fathom in my arms, in my in my biceps. Like they hurt so bad, I could not raise my arms to give her a hug or anything. Wow. Uh, I had a cruise uh, that that I was gonna take in like a couple a couple more days, and I was thinking like, is this it? Am I just gonna be paralyzed? Because I was paralyzed, bro. I could not. And, and, and breathing hurt, <laughs> like actually just taking, <laughs> just taking breath of air hurt. Wow, it was so bad. Never again. Never again. I have to. I I, I need to get back into into at least something uh, cardio just to get just to get the blood flowing, you know, and uh, and and, and yeah. you know, get off my ass. Yeah, be There's all day, we so spent too much time sitting. <laughs> At work, just to then sit down and play some games, and then you know? play some games, or sit exactly. down and watch a movie, or sit down and eat. This it, is all we do. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you know had it right. Motion controllers were the thing; it should have been the thing. But yeah, uh, yeah you're absolutely right. Little Nintendo, fans and geniuses, geniuses. Yeah, yeah. Oh well, guys. With that note, <laughs> thanks so much for uh, tuning I'm already in. exhausted. <laughs> yeah, I know. I feel like I feel like we've been podcasting already for three hours, and it's only been twenty minutes. Uh, man. Um, oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's exhausting doing this podcast. Already feels like it's been three hours. How many minutes have we recorded? Uh, Fifteen. No, twenty-three. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> If this is your yeah, first time sorry. listening, guys, uh, please go first uh, to goodgame.rocks. Join the conversation there. Uh, oh, right. And, of course, please like, subscribe, and share the podcast with everyone. What we normally do is first we go into what we have been up to. Move on onto some various news items. And, of course, we finish with our Hot Topic of the Week. This week's Hot Topic, Hot Topic, the return of the licensed games. No! Or yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well said, sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, there was a time I think uh, we would all agree uh, that when you hear the game is, you know, the newest game coming from said developer or publisher is a licensed title that's going to be the new, I don't know, whatever. You know, yeah, Ghost it Rider, be movie, the game, you know, you know, cartoon, yeah. insert, <laughs> insert, insert popular. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> popular in either book, movie, or cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so, and of course, they were you know, as we all know, most of them were just really cash grab, not very good games, just something to have someone buy it, company make some money, you know, and 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 everybody's everybody's good except for the gamer uh, who's mm-hmm. left with a shit game, uh, you know, or at least not early on. I think things were pretty good. Um, I think back to the to the uh, to the old Spider Man games and some of the other. Uh, so, you know, you think about a turtle. Funny you mentioned Spider Man because there were some that were kind of terrible. I was just thinking about that. There was well, that's what I'm saying. After a were... while, when mm-hmm. they became the money grab, thanks to you know good old Activision, 
uh <laughs> then you know yeah at that point is and at that point license game uh got a pretty dirty name uh yeah. and so now though i think we're we're kind of in a new era uh, of licensed games so we're going to kind of just go in through some of the ones that we know that are coming up uh take a look at who are developing it and maybe just come out with hey do we think it's going to be a good one uh you know, you think this uh, development team has what it takes, mm-hmm. and uh, and we'll go from there. It, um, it, yeah, it, it, that and this will be interesting because uh, I wasn't really paying attention to that scene in particular. So when you mentioned the topic of the way, I'm like, oh yeah, I guess that's right. I guess there are some it snuck up on us. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Just completely snuck up on us. You're like, oh yeah, that is just happening. Look like at Insomniac. A virus. Insomniac is doing two of them now. They've got Wolverine. You know what I mean? And and yeah. That that pretty much locks them up there for uh, for a bit with uh, with some licensed games. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, we'll get into that a little bit later on the show. So let's go ahead and start, sir, with what we have been up to. I am oh. very interested, sir, in what you've been uh-huh. doing. Uh, what you've been doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's the scooby doo do? Yeah. Um. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but it's not going to be that much excitement mm-hmm. on what I've been doing. Uh, honestly, I I was uh, I have been playing as I probably reported last uh, podca- uh, podcast, Demon Souls. Uh, I got into Demon Souls by uh, Blue Point or the version of Blue Point, you know, the one on PS Five. Mm-hmm. We have some news on Blue Point later on. Stay tuned. But I. Think I might be done with it, honestly. Oh, <laughs> it's not or finishing, right? You're not like you're finished, yeah, so. yeah. No, no. And and it's I, I need to preface this by saying it's not that I think it's a bad game because it's not, you know. And uh, it's at the end of the day, it's a really fucking v- good version of what that game was originally when it came out on PS3, Demon Souls, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh it is a precursor to the Dark Soul games that we have with a lot of the things that you know, you know, you got you got your souls, you got your uh the uh dif- difficulty uh the difficult challenge. monsters yeah, and your mm-hmm. and your challenge exactly and and your committing to an attack you know when you're doing when you're doing it and it's all well and good i wanted to try something different with this one so i went with a caster class this time um the royalty class which i was surprised that the game considered like it was saying like oh yeah this is a great this, this is a great uh class for beginners and i'm thinking like oh i always thought the sorcerer was difficult because of my Ex- well, not not my experience on it. From what I've seen mm-hmm. from from uh, uh, Dark Souls, the Dark Souls games, and I didn't even had that argument with with Chaos. So no, man, you know, playing uh, sorcerers that's gotta be super difficult because when you face those de- you know, those demons, especially on the ones on on Dark Souls, uh, you, you, I mean, you probably could get one or two <laughs> or two shot at, and that's it because you are a glass cannon, glass, you know. Cannon. Uh, you you hit good, but if it takes time to cast, for example, and and in the meantime, you have to parry or dodge or you know do whatever or or, or try to tank this incredible attack from this uh, bosses. Like you're not gonna. You're not gonna stand, <laughs> you know. It's mm-hmm. it's gotta be you gotta be really good <laughs> at dodging and managing your stamina because you're probably not dumping a lot of points into the stamina also, so your stamina is uh gauge is, is small. And I still believe I still believe that in in the Dark Souls it's, it's probably more challenging to play a, a sorcerer than you know your your quality build. You know your your dex your dexterity build or, or your strength build, mm-hmm. but not on Demon Souls. <laughs> <laughs> on Demon Souls, uh, you're a caster. You pretty much uh, are steamrolling that game. Yeah, like that. I, I don't mean. Well, I, I don't mean that it, it suddenly become becomes like a cakewalk. You know, mm-hmm. but it's not. It's not gonna be as challenging. You you are definitely uh, exploiting a lot because your because your thing is you're attacking from a distance. So sure, 
you are a glass cannon, but if they can't get to you fast enough, then that doesn't matter. You're still destroying. You really, you really have to like screw it up badly to get yourself in harm's way. Mm -hmm. At least so far, what I've what I've played, I, I, so I, I have defeated. Like I, I don't know how far this is. Nor do I think it's actually. I don't think it could even be considered the middle uh, of the game, but. Uh, my disappointment so far has been the boss fights are compared to Dark Souls now. Mm. A little bit lame, actually. Uh, like, they are very easy to exploit or uh, maybe tone down for this version from I remember them being, especially the, the fight against uh, a, a, a fire spider that I had at one, you know, at one point. That I remember that 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 spider like at, at one point just filling the entire room with lava, or mm -hmm. or at least a corridor where I was, and hey, there's though I don't remember there ever being a way to avoid that, and now there is you know, which I guess is fair you know because it was kind of like sucky to get hit like that you know you don't have a way of avoiding that attack then that's an unfair fight, but but this one. I was able to kind of like cheese my like I've been able to almost cheese my way through most of the bosses that I have encountered without resorting to to a walkthrough. To, oh, let me see what's the best way to cheese this, you know, this character. You know, uh, th the only time that I looked at one uh, was because I noticed that I was doing very little damage to this bot, to this particular boss, and it, it wasn't even. Uh, a difficult fight or anything like that. It was incredibly easy. It was a fight that if I needed to take a break and go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. I could leave my character in a certain area wow. uh, behind a wall, and the boss will never. The boss was so huge that he will never fire uh, follow me. So if I needed to take a break to restore mana, you know, or for whatever, uh, I had chances, you know. And the problem was that attacking it, it, it was taking a little bit of time. Um, and I I don't know maybe it was meant to be like a battle of attrition because of how easy it was in the on the rest and Probably. and again it, it's not me like <laughs> turning good or anything like that because <laughs> I'm not it was more I I can cannon with this everything that had that the game has thrown me so far uh, with not no not a lot of uh effort compared to the effort that I've have played that I was placing on on Dark Souls. Like I tell you another way that I pretty much trivialize the game because now I never have to worry about losing my souls. <laughs> you know? If anything, I, I wow. might waste a little bit of time, but I don't have to waste I don't have to ever worry about losing souls. And that is uh I'm a you know I'm a caster, so one of the things that 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 it has uh, that you can learn that is not even that expensive is like twenty thousand souls. I guess at the beginning it's it's kind of pricey, but you can make the money relatively fast, um, or the souls relatively fast. Is a uh, ex uh, like 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 you can teleport out basically. Mm -hmm. Uh, evacuate, I think is what it's called. So if I find myself in trouble uh, and I am pregnant with a lot of souls, <laughs> then I know to just pop that, you know, that miracle and I am out. So basically I have my own portable bonfire wherever much, I want to, yeah, <laughs> you know, wherever I want to, uh, I want to use it, which has caused me, which has caused me to level up rapidly in a small small amount of time that I that that I play. I think I might have put maybe 15 hours on it. And I think I'm I must be closer to 50 by now. Mm. Or 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 more. I don't know. But um and that's me taking my time. You know, taking my time exploring where I what I can, going through the areas. There's a lot of areas where the game is looking pretty. 
but it's pretty empty. It's like you're expecting a, an attack at any moment because you have already, you've already trained your mind from playing the Dark Souls game. It's like, oh yeah, this this area is open. I know that I'm gonna get hit by something somewhere. There's gonna be a trap. There's gonna be something, and nope, nothing. Wow, nothing. Just an, a, a, an empty corridor. You're just going, 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 and it's like. What happened? You know, wow. if if this if if this uh, uh uh a remake, I mean, I appreciate the fact that they did a very good job making that game a, a next gen game. It, it does look really good, um, and 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 it plays. Well, I mean, it's it's a beautiful it's a beautiful uh work, uh. Like like a fruit of love, you know. Mm-hmm, they, mm-hmm. they 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 wanted to remake that game. A lot of people wanted that game, and they did it. And it is exactly what it is. It it's is just... beautiful. I I only played up until the like, very first uh, boss, and my God, it's a gorgeous game, dude. It yeah. really really is. It's like you see that, and I'm just like, oh, Elden Ring, please be just as beautiful <laughs> as this, please. It is. It, it. I mean, it to me, I I still. I still think uh, artistically, I like I like Dark Souls three uh, better in the sense of the areas, but I don't think that I don't think it's the fault of of uh, Blue Point. Honestly, uh, not bringing it because they brought it. That okay? the areas that that are meant to look gorgeous, they look amazing. It's just they're still they still have to like mimic the areas as they were originally on the game you know and 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 you can always fix so far you know you don't want to make an area that was meant to look dark and drabby suddenly like just golden and beautiful you know it it you got to work with what you've been given so uh so like the nexus for example you can tell, you know, a lot of detail went into it and it looks like a beautiful area and all like that. When you go into the other parts, um, it looks good, you know. It 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 it, it looks it looks fine. It looks like a PS5 title, which okay. is, hey, that's compliment. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know? Yeah, exactly. Um but yeah, the I do want fucking uh, Elden Rings to look just as beautiful. Just as beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Uh Anyway, I, I I think I'm, I'm gonna put it on hold for a little bit. Uh, I I I don't like I said I don't think it's a bad game. I I, I was enjoying my time with it. Um, maybe I didn't pick. Maybe I don't like casting as much because honestly, what I'm finding myself doing is it, it's I'm treating it like a shooter at, at this point. It almost feels like a, like a shooter. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's great. Yeah, yeah, and and the cool gear. I'm not wearing it because I don't have the stats for it because yeah, I'm a fucking wizard. You also don't fucking need it. Yeah. On top of that. Yeah. And on t- exactly. And on top of that, I, I, I don't need it because even it, it, even the, 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 the most uh, imposing knight that suddenly appears in front of me, I can just run backwards and shoot him with yeah. fire or with, <laughs> or with the bolt until it becomes nothing. And then it gives me a shit ton of souls because I killed that knight. So it's like, oh, well, great. <laughs> you know, yeah, thank you. Good. Now I guess I need to go back to the Nexus and then restart this area again, which means now this area is starting to feel repetitive because of all the time that I've been trudging with it. Uh, the fact that they don't have like a proper checkpoint system. Uh, you take away that, that, that miracle that I have and it's just... The game pretends for you to go from beginning to the boss and beat the boss without checkpointing anywhere. If you miss, you go all the way back to the beginning. And that kind of fucking sucks, you know. Mm-hmm. I get it. You know, challenge, Dark Souls, da-da-da, but Dark Souls fix that. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what it comes down to. And you know yeah. that Blue Point, um, credit to Blue Point. They they they, they yeah. don't really alter much. They want to bring no, they couldn't. They couldn't. He, they could. he, they, you don't want to. You don't want to put bonfires suddenly left and right because they, no, that's no, not the game. That's not what I mean, though. I mean, they exactly. I mean, they, it, it would change it too much and all that stuff. But I mean, at the same time, it's like they just wanted to bring what was special about it up into mm-hmm. up into the the new stuff. Um, and and maybe just, that's what just, people are enjoying more yeah. because it's like, hey, this is the original. You know, the the way it felt originally. Yeah. And yeah. and and yeah, because Chaos that's is cool. a very big fan of it, so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I should play with people. 
<laughs> Maybe I should actually. I mean, I've been being asked by Kox for a while. Say, hey, let me because he saw that we were both playing for a little bit. Because I didn't know you guys were. Yeah, I, I don't want to trivialize it that much. <laughs> it's already point. trivialized from what I understand. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it's already pretty trivial. Oh, one again. <laughs> And I don't, I, I don't know. Maybe the bosses will get better, but the last one I bought was like a just like a one wizard lady, and the most special thing that she did was turn into multiple versions of herself, and it was easy to spot. Okay, you're the fake one, so there you go. Couple of shots, you're done. You're the fake one. Couple of shots, you're done. And okay, now I'm hitting the real one, and now I'm doing massive damage. Yeah. So yeah. So that's uh that's your demon souls. <laughs> For a while, <laughs> I I did play something else before I go into Stranding the Dead, but um, I don't think I, I, I played it for long enough because uh, Death Stranding was out and I had already purchased it and, uh, well, the, the upgrade, I mean, the $10 upgrade. And I was like, I need to try this game again. Let me see, at the very least, let me see how it is on... PS5, you know, and if anything, I'll have, I'll have that. And oh boy, I am, I'm hooked again, bro. <laughs> I am hooked again. I, there, there is, I mean, it's still the same nonsensical bullshit, <laughs> you know? wow. and uh, in the sense of, in the sense of the story, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even it, it when was you know sensible. exactly how everything yeah. is going, the most you're doing right now is like, oh, I understand this reference now. Oh, I understand this reference. Oh, I know who this person is now. I know who Hartman is. Before, the first time, like, Hartman, I didn't realize that you have been interacting with him for a while uh, before I actually met him in person, <laughs> you know, mm-hmm. for example, and stuff like that. Uh, the new stuff... That, that I will say, yes, that, first of all, I'm happy to report that the game runs amazingly on on PS5, which is not the same that I could say about the PS4 version on PS5, believe it or not. Uh, I was kind of surprised, but I think either that game is, I mean, do you remember that game being locked or having a cap at 30? Because I could have sworn that game was on 60 on PS4 Pro, but I could be wrong. Because I remember when I was... So I'll I, I tell you why I know. I was thinking of transferring my save game uh, where I where I have beaten the game already on PS4. You can transfer it to, PS, to PS5 in the most fucking convoluted yeah. way that you can imagine that is like ridiculous. Like it, it would not, if you have open orders, you need to clear those out. If you can, if you cannot clear those out, then you're going to have to play them and make them and do them so that you complete them and you no longer have them on your list. So that then it will allow you to transfer your save. So it kind of forces you when you buy the PS5 version, it forces you to play the PS4 version, you know, running at what feels like 30, you know, like a cap 30 or something. I don't know. It just felt weird. Uh, and before you could actually transfer your save game. So, I won- so, so at the end, I was like, fuck it. I don't need to transfer my save game. You know, I because because I was thinking maybe I want to do this to try out the new stuff, but then I said, oh, just screw it. I'll, I'll hit the new stuff if I continue playing, if my interest keeps me, you know, on it. And and I'm not saying that in my, that, that you know, I'm not saying right now that, oh, yeah, man, it's just I intend to finish it. I mean, I'm playing it with that intention uh, to go through the story again, to go, to, to go through the madness because I am having a lot of fun, especially now that I have gotten a little bit more proficient with the, with the fighting, which was never because it was never the 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 main thing of that game, like I never really got good at. So I always button match my way whenever I will go into uh, the mules territory. You know, all oh, the mules, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, fuck the BTS. <laughs> yes. I want- 
Yes. Tell me you've gotten to the Moretti and you're like, yep, yes, I hated these things. Like I remember. I, I, I remember. Well, <laughs> so I'm playing on hard now. <laughs> well, that's just <laughs> Actually, you know what? Believe it or not, I I think at first I was thinking like, oh no, these BTs are a motherfucker now, and they kind of are, but they're not. It, it's not super super difficult because again. So many things have been discovered about that game already that it's almost like you're armed with that knowledge. And as long as you're applying that, you could, you know, you could ease, maybe not super easily, but if you pay attention to what you're doing and let's say, for example, when when the Audra deck starts going berserk, like when it starts like doing like a helicopter thing, like, oh, I got to remember to, okay, Cover your mouth. Uh, don't worry about running out of breath. If you need to catch your breath, just do so. But then as soon as you get, just cover your mouth again and start walking the opposite of where the other deck is telling you that there's a BT. Hmm. The problem is that the whole area is it's a wall of BTs and you don't know where the fuck mm-hmm. to go. <laughs> so you got to be prepared to make your way, you know. And now I've gotten my... <laughs> poop grenades you know now i could actually have a chance to oh yeah you guys don't remember that game had shower water like bath water grenades pee grenades and poop grenades because of course you know because Fucking Kojima. Kojima. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah the poop grenades yeah the, those things uh the number two actually they called them oh. and the, what with the p was the, the number one uh he had different versions of it too or i think i don't know there was like the different versions. Had, well i think you can up, i believe you can upgrade them or or something or, yeah. or maybe was, it's just the same because it was like three categories of the yeah, bad water, right. pee and poop. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's yeah. you're probably right. You're probably right. Okay. Yeah, mind. yeah. So, but now you know how to use them proficiently. Like if 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 you get discovered by a BT, you remember that suddenly, like a bunch of hands, you know, will right, start yeah. mm-hmm. just trying to take you down. And well, yeah, I didn't know you could do this, but you know, if you throw one of the poop grenades at the bottom, you can. That's a way to escape. You know. Uh, or uh, a really cool uh, uh, trick that I learned that is to, f- to, f- to fight bosses. If you if you if you throw a, a, a poop grenade to them, you know, and 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 it bursts into that mist. Oh shit! I mean, <laughs> it's turning into that mist. Uh, suddenly, if you use regular weapons, the ones that you're not supposed to use uh, to to battle uh, uh, other humans, but if you use them with the BT and you shoot around the area of the mist that is supposed to be, you know, compounded by the from the blood of the, well, I'm not I'm not gonna kojima you with it, but the thing is, those bullets will get coated with that substance and will hurt like will really hurt the bosses making the boss fights a little bit more interesting rather than just oh i'm gonna chuck another grenade oh i ran out of, <laughs> i ran out of grenade i mm-hmm. guess i have nothing else to <laughs> fight this monster with and uh you can actually start like almost farming for that um uh, what the element is uh, is it's, it's, it's called, but uh, those elements that that oh, you the, would use to the grab... weird gold or silver. Yeah, it was like a gold thing that, yeah. that looks like hands when you pick them off the floor. Um, so, so it, and you know, little little tips like that. I also learn how to use the rope to go stealthily. So now it's kind of cool when I when I try to go into like a stealth mission. Like I try to do the first part of one of the newer missions, which is infiltrating into this like base where they try to make it all very metal gear. Yeah. And it was, it was cool. It was cool. Like, Oh, this should have actually been like, there should have been more missions, not just this one order that I'm going to do. And I'm probably going to complete and I'm not going to have this chance to, you know, to experience this again, you know, Uh, they should have actually sprinkled some of those more throughout the game. 
And who knows? Maybe, I was maybe, say, they do. maybe, yeah, maybe there's a little bit later on. Yeah, I hope, I hope so. How long, you, hope how so long are you, it's fun? How long are you in it right now? Uh, probably like maybe 15 hours. No, okay, sure. 10 or 15 hours. I, 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 I don't remember. Maybe, maybe 10 or 15 hours on it. Um, I am, I'm taking my time like a dumbass because everybody that is completely right and sane has said. Just book it to chapter three, you know, because in chapter three, everything that makes the deliveries and stuff like that comfortable opens, and then you can use that and actually complete the, you know, the the previous mission. If you want to go back and you and you want to, you know, to, to five star each base if you want to, you know, oh. uh, I, I'm not going that crazy to do that, but I am trying to to be efficient with my deliveries and stuff like that, because I am enjoying the trick, the, the, the track, you know, quite a bit still, you know, going through the motion, you know, it's being along with it really is. It's, it's, it's just an amazing crazy. thing. You cannot ever explain to somebody. It's just no way of explaining to someone. No, nope. hey, you're, you just have to play it. And then you, how do you do that and tell them? Yeah, but you also have to pay $60. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but trust me, you're going to like it. You're going to like it. No, it's impossible, yeah. Yeah. You know, but. Yeah. Ah, at this point, they're like, maybe wait for like a special, like, I, I'm surprised. You probably could find the PS4 version of that game for like 20 bucks, if that even, maybe even less somewhere. And then just pay for the upgrade because the upgrade is what I, what I used. And it was, you know, it was seamless. It worked. Uh, now, granted, I upgraded from the f- digital version uh, of that game. So uh, I can tell how it works with the physical, but maybe maybe it'll still be okay. I will imagine that it's that it's just with PlayStation. Hey, want... Who knows? They don't have oh, smart delivery, so who knows? <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why I want to give you a warning. I did digital to digital. Oh, and it wasn't difficult. I didn't transfer my save game because that was difficult. And I was like, fuck it. It's not even worth it. You know, I'll just unlock my shit as I go. Uh, and it's a shame too, because Ghost of Tsushima learned how to do that shit. Like it, Ghost of Tsushima was painless. You know, going from from the from the PS4 version to the PS5 version was almost seamless. Yeah, I, wonder, I wonder if the issue there is that Sony has said, devs, you figure the shit out. While uh, Microsoft, on the other hand, has said, we have a system that will automatically do it. Just use it and you're fine. You know what I mean? And I think that's do where. Steps. Yeah. Do, yeah. Do, yeah. Do, when you program yeah. it, program it with these steps so that smart delivery will automatically work for you. Um, Sony doesn't have a smart delivery. So it's left up most likely to the devs to do it. And some mm-hmm. of them are going to get it right. And, you know, first parties are going to get it right. You know, <laughs> you know? Yeah. For, the most uh, part, yeah. for the most part. Yeah. And, um, but no, everybody else is just like, I don't know. It's just, it's, you know, it's, it's out. yeah, it's in there. It's everything's in there. You just got to find it somewhere and put it together. Yeah. So I yeah. wonder if that's what it is. Crazy. I, I, I thought like, I thought I was just going to like test it and see how I run. Cause I also have this game on, on PC and I play, it started playing, by the way, amazing work on the PC port. It's probably one of the best ports of a PC game that I've ever seen ever. And it's the same company that now Sony owns, owns and it's going to be bringing all the other games. So, uh, well, not all the other games, but you know what I mean? Like they might pick other games to whatever bring games it. That, yeah. Whatever games they say, you get move right. over. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I'm excited, uh, because the, the, the PC version of, of Death Stranding has everything a PC player could possibly want, you know? Uh, and, and it was running, you know, so obviously it was running super well, even on uh, not so powerful machines, you know, mm-hmm. but because it scales very well. But uh, bringing it back here to the to the director's cut, uh, to Death Stranding director's cut, uh, what it's called. I, I picked up playing hard because I've heard that a lot of the new things that the game brings you, which I haven't encountered them yet, like the catapult and the other armor and and the other things that I have it, it makes them a little bit too easy to the point where 
if you want, like some reviewer have said, hey, if, if you want to really have the director's, what should be considered the director's cut, you know, the director's cut is not, <laughs> it, it's typically the, the, the purest, it should be the, the, the purest sense of this game is probably the original. You probably want to stick to the original because the original gives you the challenge as it was meant to be. This one is giving you a lot of like just added bullshit to kind of like trivialize it a little bit, you know. Uh, and that's fine. I've accepted that. I'm probably going to be using that because I've gone through this story already. You know, at this point, I just want to experience it again like I did with Final Fantasy Seven uh, Remake. Uh, get the things that I did not get the first time, uh, explore some more, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, uh, so, so yeah, from a person that has played that game, uh, I will still consider, uh, I will still recommend it, you know, uh, doing the, doing the upgrade. If, if you, like, if you're ready to play more this time, if you had your feel like this fucking, this, it's still the I same game, you know, they, it just, yeah. Run, running smoother is not going to change your mind, you know? And none of the bullshit at the end of the day, the extra bullshit that they added, none of it, none of it is essential. Mm. None of it. It's just, it feels like just added DLC. That's right. what it feels like. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, I, <laughs> I committed an atrocity and oh, that's oh the game that I was going to mention before Death Stranding and I forgot. And then, uh, oh yeah, it suddenly came hurtily back. <laughs> so for some reason, my dead ass on a Tuesday, no, on a Monday, actually, it was a Monday, uh, late Monday. It was like 11.45 uh, uh, p.m., Surely before bedtime, basically. <laughs> Surely before bedtime, I had a hankering for wanted to play. I can't even say it, man. Diablo 2. <laughs> Resurrected. Uh, oh, that Good game night. that you were supposed to buy me, and I'm still waiting for it to pop up. <laughs> thing. Like, oh, that's I, that's I know, funny. right? If, if, you don't, if only it'll let me... It'll let me uh, gift it, you know, yeah. fucking PlayStation. Fucking get Sony the, and they're dumb get as shit. <laughs> let people gift. Come on, man. <laughs> this holiday season. Um, that's the firmware update I'm, I'm waiting for. Um, no, and, and I'm not saying in the sense of Diablo 2 is a bad game because it's fucking not. Diablo 2 is a classic. It is, a, some might say, timeless. Uh, for those that like the genre, like I, like you wouldn't care two shits because you don't care about the other. But um, the that that game is that game is amazing. There's there's no doubt. And to be to be honest, they did a they did a really good job with it. You know, it is Diablo two, <laughs> uh, and even with the pretty graphics and stuff like that, it still feels and plays just like Diablo 2 did, except that now it has Game Pass support on all versions. Believe it or not, even the PC version has Game Pass support, so I guess you can play that way, and I didn't, but I've heard good things about it. Uh, the buzz around is that it is actually uh, a very good way to, to play it. But it was a game that... <laughs> due to the current uh incidents the moment i i pressed the buy button i like regretted it like at that <laughs> very moment i just felt like that why did i do this why did the card didn't decline or fucking just gave me a warning or or a are you sure or something i probably would have said no but no I guess I own it now. You know, I gave my fucking money to it. So I guess I'm going to have something to talk about uh, on the podcast. That's how, that's how I try to justify it. Like, hey, at least I'll, I'll give my impressions uh, on the podcast. But honestly, I didn't play that much to justify the purchase because that's trending. Uh, and also because I, I knew that at the end of it, I was just playing a very pretty version of Diablo 2, a game that I have played and and, and completed many a times mm. back when 
when it was when it came out 2000 2001 like i have played that game several times and loved it i always really really liked it you know and i was never one of them looking forward to min max the end game like that much yeah, to me i was just i i I want to get rid of Diablo. That's it. I want to have my adventure and that's it. And, and, and I'll get cool gear. But once I beat the game, I stop. You know, most people that play Diablo 2 is for, is for as, a, as if it was a game as service aspect. You know, uh, oh, let me just continue playing. Let me just continue leveling up. You know, the, the, the game doesn't have a store or anything like that or have a of a fucking auction house or any, or any nonsense yeah. like that. Uh, like a real money auction house of, of Diablo three had at one point, but a horrible thing they did. It was a, it's like, it was a studio mal- malpractice. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but you know, it was it, it's it's if you like Diablo and you remember fun, you know, fondly playing that game and and enjoying it, and you want to get back to it, like, there's nothing to stop you. I mean, you know, other than the price. I think it's a little pricey for for what it is, but it's fine. They did a good job with it. Uh, I'll I'll bring it. Uh, What is the price? It's uh, $39.99. Oh, okay. $39.99. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's remake pricing, I guess. Yeah. That oh, was the thing. A, that was the thing top of tier, this. Top tier, me, uh, top tier. Uh, yes, remake. exactly. Yeah. That's what I did. I played top tier <laughs> remakes because I because before that I was playing Demon Souls and then uh, I played uh, Death Strandings and I uh, ended up having more fun stranding the dead. I want to go back. I want to go mm, back. Unbelievable. That's that's actually a good feeling, you know. You 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 want to go back. You yeah. you want to do the the bullshit and the nonsense. That is yeah. Uh, anyway, that is uh, all. That is all that I have been uh, played. I, I did watch uh, the last two episodes of of uh, What If, which so. I have missed, and uh, I'm still enjoying that series uh, uh, a whole lot. Okay. And I. Can't say much of it because a certain someone hasn't seen it uh, yet. No, uh, no, you don't have to say plot details or anything like that, but speak freely on it. I mean, it's, it's first off, it's 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 not like it's a major thing. <laughs> you no, know no, I mean? it's not. It's not. It's yeah. not. Although I still find it cool, like discovering, like, oh, okay, what is this episode about? But if you guys don't care, I, I can tell you, like, the 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 the, the previous uh, episode to to the last one that I saw was like, what if? I think it was uh what if Thor was uh an only son? Oh you know okay. <laughs> so oh. and that was kind of pon- pointless and stupid. I'll be honest with you. Really? Okay. The zombie one was better than this. <laughs> oh damn. I, I mean, just to be fair though, the zombie had some good moments, but overall I didn't really care for it too much. No, exactly. Uh, no. This yeah. one I didn't care for and no good moments. Pretty much anything. On, it was. <laughs> it was just. It was so dumb. It's like, and that's why I feel like we might be entering, if not, this might be season finale, maybe, because you know how the season finales you can tell they're approaching because the episode previous to the to the actual season finale is just some bullshit episode mm. that is just like, like nonsense. Like they're trying to. I don't know. In some other series that are more linear, they usually use that episode to tie some knots before they go into like the end game. You know, let's let's call it right. Um, but on some other ones where they're well, not they're supposed linear, to be standalone, so they really shouldn't be connected, though. No, Unless exactly, exactly. On this one, on 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 this one, I don't mean it like in the sense that they're con- they're, they're they're connected. I mean it more in the sense of well. They still that they still did that shit, or this it still feels like they did that shit anyway, because that episode was like the weakest one of them all. Mm-hmm. And then the next one was awesome. Oh, okay. <laughs> it, it, it it was good. To to say would be almost 
Oh, to... just give me the title. What the heck? Okay, it's the so title. It'll, you know what I mean? So on, it'll man. be like, what if? Uh, it, just with the title, if... you get you get the setup, but you don't, don't know what's happening. You know? What I don't mean? know. I don't know the. I, I don't know the title like verbatim, but it's basically the idea of, well, what if Ultron would have succeeded? Oh, okay. In Age of Ultron. Right. Oh, okay. 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 Right, oh, right, that's right. actually yeah. That's very that, interesting. Okay. That is that is very interesting. I can see why I, you like it because you like you you do like uh, those, I, those, yeah. I did like Age of Ultron, you know, uh, quite a whole lot. You know, like yeah. I liked Ultron as uh, as a new. I, I know it's not a popular uh, <laughs> it's not a popular uh, take, but when have I ever gone for the popular vote? <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, dude, I would definitely say a lot of like. I think, first of all, I feel like a lot of people jump on bandwagons when it comes to stuff like that. And I feel like there's this Age of Ultron was not a great film bandwagon. Bandwagon, you know I mean? yeah. And then yeah. suddenly that's what everybody remembers. But I'm like, right. I've seen, I saw the movie like three times in theater. I took you to see it. Yeah, I think it was for, for, for I don't remember what it was for. Birthday, birthday I think it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so I was just like, I saw it three times in theater and I enjoyed each and every one of them. I was like, yeah. this was an excellent follow-up mm-hmm. to the to the avengers you know what i mean and yeah, had a i would really argue cool to say i would argue to say that the first avengers you know when you look at the plot and everything it's like it, it's pretty slim there's very mm-hmm. little going on in that film it's really just yeah. putting the putting the characters together so yeah. I, I you know by the time you get to part two there's a lot lot more going on it's not a perfect movie not even by mm-hmm. a long shot but i think i think a lot of people have you know I don't know, willful blindness uh, to these things because they just know I yeah. remember just being crap. And and I don't even think they do. I think they, you know, they just, they saw it, they thought it was okay or good. And, and then suddenly, you know, you know, you got your critics kind of not shitting on it, but going, oh, it's not as, as great as whatever. Mm-hmm. And and then suddenly everybody's on that board, you know, and like, come on, man, you have your own fucking opinion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel like uh, the, 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 Second time that I like, I feel like at one point I was on that bandwagon for some reason, and then they took the time when I did that recent rewatch that I did of all of them, mm-hmm. and I realized like, oh no shit, this movie has some great moments, mm-hmm. and it turns out that uh, for you know for better or worse, it wasn't perfect or anything like that uh, as a villain, but I think Ultron was kind of awesome, you know, in 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 his. In his personality, in his uh, what he was trying to do to, to accomplish. I mean, he's a fucking program, so I of course always... everything's gonna be very yes or no because that's yeah. what programs are. Exactly. Right? You know? Yeah, very binary. <laughs> <laughs> you want pe- exactly, exactly. Hey, you want peace? The only way to achieve peace is if, if you wipe out humanity. You know, that's, that's exactly. That. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I. What, when you just said the title. It immediately brought up, um, and I'm sure I've mentioned this before on the podcast at one point, but an anime movie that I saw a long time ago where um, it was, it was, you know, it was uh, the the machines versus the humans, uh, and the machines ruled the world, uh, and the humans were this small little nation uh, that couldn't, you know, that that still existed, but. Uh-huh. You know, and, and the robots was like, whatever, leave them over there because we already run shit. You know what I mean? And and, and all this. <laughs> and whatever humans were in the areas where uh where robots were, um, they were slaves. You know what I mean? And wow. so yeah, they were enslaved and they're just made to do work. Um I'm, but the the na- the cool. whatever the government was, you see what the, the 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 leftover human government, they were still watching what what the what the robot empire government was doing. Mm-hmm. And the earth was healing, you know, Am- yeah. the, the, you know, it gained back 30% of, of the rainforest a- across the world and all this stuff. <laughs> and in the end, what you find out, and this is kind of a spoiler for an eighties uh, anime film, but in the end, what you find out is the creator um, who created the, the, the emperor of, of the robots uh-huh. gave him a directive. It, it, we need you. You are the one who's going to lead us to a better world. Because we we're so trying tough. to save the earth, <laughs> and then boom, that's a, that's, that's, exactly one those, that's one of those crazy discoveries <laughs> or reveals at the very end. Because he that's who he's kneeling to. That he's kneeling cool. to the to the uh, to the I don't know if it was like the casket or statue of of his creator. And he's like, yeah. I hope I hope I deliver what I was you know what you, what <laughs> the robot. Dude, that's it's awesome. just like yeah. So I can already imagine Ultron 
winning. I'm like, that's exactly, that's exactly yeah. what I'm thinking. You know, and it was like, that'll be <laughs> fucking on me. Obviously, still, what if, whatever, but that would be pretty fucking interesting, wouldn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I've always, again, big fan of alternate, real, alternate realities and alternate fictions, uh, alternate history. <laughs> but, um, it 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 fulfills that it, it fulfills that 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 void of uh, literally you know let's go crazy all all these episodes I I think even the bad ones it it still answers that question of well what if this happened or what mm-hmm. if this actually happened and and uh, you know that last one that last one was very cool and very powerful so I was like yes I like where this is going you know and I hope. Uh, they they continue. I say I hope say I hope they continue. It, it felt it felt like one of those episodes that are meant to be the season finale. I don't know if that's actually the case. Maybe next maybe next week we just get another different episode. Like who knows? But it was that good. It was that yes, it delivered. Uh, on a on a on a on a cool story, and also you know the the animation and the findings are amazing on those. So you know why not? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, I'm totally down with that series. I I want I definitely want to see more. Like that will be a series that will keep me, uh, you know, paying uh for for Disney Plus, and that will make two of them now. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because you sure as hell is not gonna be Loki. It's fucking nonsense! <laughs> there we go, and yet it. we're still gonna fucking watch it when it happens. So oh yeah, no. I, I, at least, <laughs> at least I will watch. At least not gonna be the fuck, you know, the fuck on the winter. So I'm not gonna subject myself to that shit unless, <laughs> unless, unless people tell good. me yeah, yeah, season yeah. two is stellar. <laughs> like there will have to be. Uh, yeah, shit. you know, no, they change. Yeah. They completely change. Like I don't know. Yeah, highly yeah. unlikely, but I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> uh, that's awesome, dude. That's awesome. I'm glad. Uh, I, I'm. I'm. I have that to look forward to. I, I still haven't got past the zombies, and you know, yeah, that, that, kind of, that kind of that kind of says something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, I was like, it kind of says something about how <laughs> I feel about the zombie. It really <laughs> just completely derailed my because I was watching it every week faithfully, yeah. you know, yeah. and that one was just like. Look, I'm all right with you making zombies, but you gotta have a better reason than you, than you invented here, and <laughs> and it just you know I remember this stupid commercial. Uh, it was I don't know what the hell it was, but it was a stupid one of those like Saturday morning cartoon cartoon kind of commercials. Mm. But it may be a cereal or something like that, and some kid goes to the fridge and he 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 pours out the milk, smells it, and it's like oh, this doesn't smell smell good. But he takes a sip from it. And suddenly he turns into a zombie. Now he and then he's rampaging through the <laughs> through the city streets and and creating more zombies. It's like also oh, rotten milk. Rotten <laughs> we'll milk. Come, you know, is enough to create zombies. You know, that's so pretty that's, much a, that's about as yeah. As I was gonna say, that's about as much thought as they put into <laughs> you know into into the zombies. Uh, 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 yeah, it's it's funny because they they kind of have to like present stuff fast in some cases yeah yeah they don't give a single because it's still a short yeah Yeah. they still have to do it so when it happens it still feels like jarring like holy shit did that just happen (laughs) (laughs) no explanation no nothing it was just brute there was there was an explanation but just it 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 didn't or rather there was a line said that it's that it's basically was meant to clear it up and i'm like no, 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 no. <laughs> you need a little bit more uh, to, to to fill in that blank. But uh, yeah. yeah, but uh, anyway, well, that's cool, bro. Um, yeah, that's as, all I've been doing. Awesome. Uh, as for me, I have been only playing. Uh, well, that's not true. I play a couple games. I, real quick, I did jump back into some uh, Ghost of Tsushima Legends with Chaos, and I am officially level. 87 or something like that holy so, shit yeah, that's yeah. a lot of yeah, it actually we're, fi- we're finally we're in gold we're, we're playing the uh i just got to get to 90 so we can do survival and go yeah 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 and uh posted a couple pictures a funny one there of, of me wearing uh what appears to be a, a wicker basket on my head that has swords <laughs> through course. it <laughs> you know i was like this, this is a lot of fun uh and uh, we also played oh, the pvp which i don't know if you, any of you guys have tried um 
which is an interesting uh, thing in Legends. I, I didn't at first. I didn't, I didn't even know that there was a PvP in Legends. Well, it's not traditional PvP. You're not actually fighting other folks. You're still fighting the Mongols or whatever. But you have two sides, uh, right? So you have it's a team of two versus a team of two, um, or at least we did it. I don't know if there's more or less than that, but um, mm. and so the uh, your opponents are going through their arena area, killing all the Mongols they can, gaining these what looks like glowing seashells. Then you go to the middle, you purchase something with those seashells that fuck up your side of your of, of the arena, and that's <laughs> what you're trying to do their side of the arena. And you basically just have to do it as fast as possible. Um, okay and uh it's, it's like it's, a tug of war situation more there. or less more or less yeah and um it's actually kind of fun man i was just like it's it's the most strangest shit in the world bro. i'm not even gonna i'm not even gonna lie i was like <laughs> i we played the first round and i would say that the rounds maybe about 10 15 minutes you know it's not it's not very long to get through them 10 maybe mm. maybe more uh, accurate 10 15 would probably be too long but um so it, it, it but <laughs> the chaos is trying to explain to me the rules uh -huh. as we go along. And it's clear that he hasn't played this particular uh, thing in a little while. So some of it's coming back to him as we're going. <laughs> and so it, was, <laughs> it was one of the most frantic things. But that said, there's like this bar that shows at the top and who's who's closest to the to the end. Uh, uh -huh. And you're just trying to get to the end, basically. Uh, and so That's funny. and That's funny. Uh, we almost pulled what would have been the massive comeback bro. <laughs> Cause, really uh, yeah because you you if you get killed it um you know you still resurrect and all that but it like it completely derails your progress um mm. and the other the team they both died at the same time <laughs> so we we're oh, like wow we're not, and we were way behind because at that at that point is where i started understanding like he was trying to explain it while playing and that's not easy to do um and so and i was just not getting him. so where do i go okay i'm following you all right what do i do what do we do what, what what is you know he's like go purchase the thing whatever i'm like what does that even mean what am i purchasing <laughs> it with <laughs> you know what i mean it was this frantic nature and then when i it finally clicked halfway through the battle um mm. they died and we were significantly behind and but we mounted this massive comeback bro it was we were just within seconds of taking the lead and 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 winning uh but it was it was wow. fun dude it was it was a lot of fun i definitely uh recommend you know just <laughs> probably look at what the rules are because it's it's rather <laughs> it's rather complex and maybe even a little silly but it's, it's still uh -huh. a lot of fun it's still a lot of fun uh and so yeah so i played that and then of course uh the main game that i've been uh playing and that is uh kina or kana i'm not even sure i think it's kina kina bridge of spirits kina, yeah. uh kina. which is by developer ember lab and i i'm digging this i'm digging this game it's it's a, yeah, it's a lot of good fun. things yeah it's a lot of fun it's gorgeous dude this is easily mm -hmm. pixar level uh pixar level uh game uh gameplay um just vibrant everything looks and feels great i'm playing this of course on uh on the uh, uh performance mode so all of everything 60 frames it just really feels good to play um mm. i've had heard some complaints that i don't know if i agree with uh but again i'm only probably six to seven hours in um and i'm pretty sure really I, I thought you would have beaten it by now <laughs> Well, I haven't really got a chance to play, and it is football season, so these type of things happen. Oh, <laughs> you know you see, yeah, it's, it's, football <laughs> is actually taking. You know, see what? Do you see what it does? You're, 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 you're not performing at your level. <laughs> oh, contrary, you sir. In three I, games like that. I, you're actually right because I am one and two in the league, in tenth place. I need <laughs> oh, to fix that. this. Okay, so I, in order to do that, I need to focus. Less on, gaming, more I'm, I'm, I'm making like shady trades. I'm just doing everything I can at this point just to try to make some sort of headway. Here. That's but your anyway. subconscious trying to rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, Kina is a... So first of all, it's a third-person um, 3D action platformer uh, is really what I think would have fallen under. Um, yeah. She's basically a what they call a spirit guide. Uh, and what she does is she she helps spirits that get lost or trapped, you know, sort of move on to the next to the to the next life. Uh, and so she's at some weird uh, village 
that has been um, taken over by a lot of bad spirits and stuff in that. And, and, and so now that's what basically you're trying to clear up and you're doing this with these little adorable, <laughs> like black little, bean little bags little with bean eyes, bean <laughs> bag. yes. you know, um, they're absolutely adorable. They call them rot. I'm not sure why it's called rot, but they call them rot. Um, and you collect them as you go. Um, you know, so you, the, the more you get, the more is following you at all times. As a matter of fact, I'm up to like 35 of them just around me at all times, you know, so it's got a little Pikmin thing going or, or, uh, lemmings <laughs> or, or lemmings. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, but they're adorable. They're very, they're very useful. You can help them to, you can get them to move stuff cause they're very actually strong. You pick up huge boulders and move them around for you. Ooh. Um, and, um, they also, uh, perform certain things during, uh, during, uh, battle, um, they generally run away when the battle starts, but you have ways of using them uh, as as you mm. get confidence in, in battle and all this. And um, the move sets are are simple. There's not a lot uh, to it. Uh, she has she starts off with a spear. I've I've already got a a, a bow and arrow, which is uh. which is weird because it's really the spear itself, and then there's like this in, invisible. A wire that you or you know it's like a a spirit wire if you will and then she pulls it and she's able to <laughs> a spirit yeah. wire I yeah, like spirit it. wire no. yeah <laughs> uh, and she's able to she's able to focus and 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 shoot arrows that way um and so basically what you're doing is clearing up the forest of these things and it, it's just i can't exp- the game is the gameplay itself is like i said it's, it's i don't want to say it's simple it's actually kind of challenging sometimes too i've i've gotten mm. my ass handed to me in a couple battles i was like Whoa! This is this is a little bit more. Uh, there's a little bit more to it, um, and and really, it's just figuring out what you need or what uh-huh. what weapon or or trick you need to do with this particular uh, boss or, or or creature. And I was about to ask how how the boss fights. Uh, boss fights are good. Um, they are different so far. There aren't many. Uh, I think I've probably done four, maybe uh, at mm-hmm. this point, and they're you know they're all sort of tree based creatures you know what i mean so um yeah some of them look like walking groots you know what i mean is what it looks oh, like so okay so, no, that that type of tree okay that gotcha. type of tree yeah yeah <laughs> Those and, groot. Uh, groot uh and that's really what it is the 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 controls are very similar to dark souls uh, r1 is your your light r2 is your heavy uh you can hold on to r2 to do a uh to a, a, a big hit um, you know, you dodge with your, with the, cir- with the circle button. Uh, so a lot of little stuff that, you know, it's it easy to pick up and play if, if you're familiar with that type of, a uh, 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 gameplay. And, um, she has this, she has a shield. Um, so on the L one is your shield. Uh, and so again, very similar. Uh, uh-huh. you can also parry with that. So again, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, uh-huh. if you get, if you parry right before they hit you, it's this, the same way we all know how to fucking parry at this point. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, picking up and playing was, was very simple to get into. Um, but I'm loving it, man. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, or maybe loving is a lot. I'm really liking it. Um, it is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I can't s- express how pretty it is. However, it is limited because you're just in the forest and mountain, you know, I haven't seen and some, some, sometimes you're in a cave. Uh, mm. I haven't seen anything city like or anything like that. There's a village and all that. So it's one of those things where, like it looks beautiful, but it is also limited. Now that you're going different areas and stuff like that. So, um, so you have put, cause I've heard the game is not particularly like too long or, or anything. So the, honestly, I haven't even checked. I normally <laughs> reason check why I have expected you to have beaten it by now, but. <laughs> Talking football well, got in the I way. Am, I am I am taking my time with it. Um because I'm 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 okay. trying to get I'm not trying to one hundred percent anything like that, but I am trying to get all the little things you can get. You can get these little hats for your for your little rot, for your little your little bean bags. <laughs> and suddenly I feel like I need to collect these hats so that I can dress them all with these weird <laughs> little hats. hats. You know <laughs> You want the hats. I need the hats. <laughs> uh and uh, that's really yeah. all you're doing. The the currency is for that. That's it. And you you collect, oh, you collect these little, yeah for these rats. That's it. There's nothing. That's what's weird about it. It's like so. That's the only thing. And there's not even. There's like a cart. No better weapons. Go, no anything no, else. You you right. can you can. There is what's called um what the hell is it called focus or something like that. That as you as you um as you gain more rot, uh-huh. uh, and as you use them with stuff and and you eliminate stuff, you you get you get almost like 
we'll call it experience, uh, but it's called something else. And then you can put that to learn new moves and, and, and new combos and stuff like that. Um, mm. It's not a lot of stuff though. It's not, you don't have, this isn't like Ghost of Tsushima level of all these little things you can open up. Right. Um, it's probably a third of that. Maybe, you know what I mean? It's like, if okay. I had to, if I literally can probably count it from the screen and go, there's probably eight total things you can unlock. You know what I mean? So oh, it's not okay. a lot. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but it's also not a long game either. Ghost of Tsushima is fifty hours, so. But, no, um, and it was made by uh, uh, a you know a, a relatively studio. unknown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that Ghost of Tsushima was Ghost of Tsushima, uh, compared yeah. compared to this one, which is a relatively unknown studio. I understand it was like fifteen people. Yeah, Ember Lab. It's funny. This is their first game, which is another thing. This is another reason why I was like, it's "Amazing!" Yeah, I was just like, I wasn't sure about it, and I was like, "Well, let's wait and see," because they're kind of new, and I don't know what's going to uh, come from uh, it, you know. But you, but I, you know, you look at it, you go, "Well, Sony's behind it. It's exclusive. It's like Sony wouldn't really bring this on unless they saw something." You know what I mean? And Life of the Tiger. The yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, like I, I that was on on I, I, on. I wouldn't uh, be. I wouldn't put that as a qualifier. I don't think this is no, something no, that, unless mean, yeah. unless they are financially backing or something like that, or maybe I, this I is would like, think they are. That's what I'm saying. I would think that there is some sort of financial backing of. Well, if you're making any exclusive, you, you you're paying for that. You know what I mean? No, not necessarily. You can make. The, the company can be making an exclusive just because that's where they want to. Like, not not every exclusive is financed by the company. You know what I mean? Well, it's they, they might be choosing that because hey, that's a that that's the that our people are more probably know how to program better for it, or that's the console that is selling you know right now, maybe, and we don't want to put it on the fucking Wii uh, or oh, yeah, Switch. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, Switch. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's possible. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what the deal is behind it. But yeah, Ember Labs is a small suit. I went in to look to see what they've done. Like, okay, so they haven't made a game, but what the fuck have they been doing? And mm-hmm. they've done like these, these. Uh, they, they do like Pixar level animated type stuff, 3D animations, and they do it for like commercials and stuff like that. There was right. this, there was this uh, I don't know what, it looked definitely Asian. Uh, so it was like a Coke commercial and the Coke bottle had Asian writing. And oh. but it had these little cute little characters that were running through the streets with with the coke or trying to grab it or something like that, and oh. that's just showing how how well they're at, at how, well, how good they're at at, at at animation. Excuse me. Um, and reminds me of uh, YouTube Pepsi Man one day. What YouTube Pepsi Man? Yes. Okay. I'll have to Pepsi Man. <laughs> You'll see. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. But anyway, um, overall, really dig it. I'm pretty sure I can finish it pretty soon. Um, it just, you know, takes a little bit of time. Um, so that's Kingdom Bridge of Spirits. I do recommend. Ha- not giving my score yet until I get to the end. See how 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 they stick the landing. Um, mm-hmm. Did watch a few things. Um, so I just want to kind of quickly go through a few that are not really need to talk to. I watched Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse again because love that film. That's it. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good one. Uh, so I watched another film called Miss Sloan, uh, which stars Jessica Chastain, mm-hmm. uh, Mark Strong. Uh, you probably know these uh, people by face, at least. Uh, and she mm-hmm. is a lobbyist um, who takes on the gun uh uh the nra or not the gun but gun basically the the gun nuts no, the, the people the who NRA? want the people who want guns to be the NRA? Yeah, it's not the nra it's it's um it's a uh, i mean <laughs> gun manufacturers what are they? the people who make guns and okay. there's a small organization who wants to implement uh better you know, background checks for people to to an end. Of course, you have the other side of it going, yeah, but it just takes time. Is that really necessary? We want people to be able to get guns whenever they need to get guns. We want everybody. We want kids to be able to buy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, she I'm is. Exaggerating. <laughs> she, yeah, she's a she's a lobbyist who, uh, who normally doesn't jump on the side of the smaller person, and she's extremely good at her job, but decides mm-hmm. to jump on the side of yeah, we're we're, we're gonna we're gonna finally get you know, mandatory uh, uh, background checks for this shit. You know what I mean? And she is excellent. I mean, just Mm. deviously excellent at being what she is. She has no kids. She just, her job, she gets up and and sleeps, making sure that she's 
four or five steps ahead of who <laughs> who she's mm-hmm. challenging and, and whatever. And okay. it's pretty freaking cool, dude. I'm not gonna lie. This, <laughs> this is definitely a really cool movie. Um, I'd give it probably uh, easily a 3.5. Um, definitely recommend. It's actually on Netflix, so it's easily obtainable right now. Okay. Um, I I really enjoy. Just Jess thing is obviously uh, aside from being absolutely gorgeous, she's also ab- excellent. Uh, uh, actress Mark Strong is in it, and I love Mark Strong. He's really cool. Uh, you, you you know him. I don't know if you know him by name, but you do know. You'll recognize. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. So yeah, that, that's that's uh that's Miss Sloan. It's it's from God 2016, so it's not even that old. Um, really cool. Definitely uh recommend that. Again, three point five uh for me on that one. Um, mm-hmm. uh, next one I saw was a movie called Four Good Days, and I think we had this one listed. Not as our as our uh, trailer of the week, but definitely one of the runner ups. This one starred Mila Kunis, who was oh. a who's basically a junkie, uh, and Glenn Close is oh. her mom, and she is helping her get through, uh, getting clean, basically, mm-hmm. uh, and so. Yeah. Rehab, yeah, but she has to. So she has Medicaid, right? This is a wonderful thing about our healthcare system. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, she goes through the she goes through the first three days at a at a facility, and then there's this shot that apparently uh, you can take, and it keeps your body from ever getting high, and you take it once a month, and it's the best mm-hmm. way for a junkie to get off. However, you ha- cannot have drugs in your system for a minimum seven days and what they do is they normally wait till eight days um Mm. the reason for that is because you can have an absolute complete shock to your body and die you know what i mean Uh, if you have drugs in your system so so she has to wait is this a real drug or is this a movie i don't know i don't know i never looked i didn't honestly didn't look up it felt a little bit too like man that's a miracle right there (laughs) why why are we handing this shit out hence the question is like wait a minute does this really exist yeah yeah. i (laughs) have no idea (laughs) <laughs> but the movie is more focused on the reality, which is the reality is seven or eight days for a junkie to not get high is nearly impossible yeah. in the sense that they they will do anything and fuck over anyone to get to get back to that high uh, state. Um, yeah. And they know it. You know what I mean? So the whole deal is her mom decides to take her in, even though she's, you know, they're pretty much estranged uh, to take her in and help her through these four days, uh, which is why I call it four good days. Um, and make sure she's clean so that she can get that shot. Because at that point, when she gets the shot, mm-hmm. apparently she won't, you know, she can still try to get high, but she can't get high. Right. You know, and, and so, um, but that's fine because that helps you wean it out because you don't have, yeah. you're not going to go back. Uh, and it's actually really good, dude. It's, I mean, mm-hmm. this is Mila Kunis really doing a, an awesome job. You know what I mean? I was just like, this is, I have not seen this level of, of, of acting from Mila Kunis. I was like, okay, you, I think we have something yeah, yeah. here. You know what I'm saying? Okay. This, this is, is a different good. take. Yeah. This is a, the, the, a different role that for real. You yeah. Will normally you, see her cast. Yeah. Yeah. If you see the trailer, you will see, you will see she is not the, you know the beautiful looking girl that you would know yeah, or I anything else. Really imagine is, her being yeah, beautiful she is, and <laughs> she's she really good. Like crying out loud. Yeah. How bad could this? How bad could this be? <laughs> I, I, I invite you to watch the trailer. Uh, and we did watch. You just probably forgot. Um, <laughs> where you can see, I'm sure you've seen pictures of junkies where they have the the, the weird marks and 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 scratches right. in their face and stuff like that. And that's her. <laughs> and then ah. the film, you're like, damn. Uh, and Glenn Close, of course, Glenn Close is a fucking seasoned actress and she, she nails it as the mom. Um, yeah. you can tell she's just this mom that's just consistently broken hearted by what's going on, even though she, she, she loves her daughter, but doesn't trust her at all. And, and, and it's just, it's just crazy, uh, and, and it, but it's, it's pretty cool. Um, this was on, where the hell did I see this? This was on, um, this is on Hulu. So I was on Hulu. Oh, okay. Um, and Inclusive? No, I don't think it's exclusive. I just think I think it happened to get, uh, get there. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah happened gotcha. to get there now. Um, this one I would give probably another three point five, maybe almost four in this one. Okay, I, I really right. did enjoy because there was also funny moments, um, and not meant to be 
laugh out loud funny. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a this is a scene from from the from the trailer, which is absolutely hilarious. When when the doctor's telling her about the shot, you know what I mean. The first thing Mila Kunis is carrying is so so is it safe? <laughs> and her mom goes, "Now all that shit you're pumping into your system, and now your body's a temple." <laughs> <laughs> that type of shit had me fucking dying and you know it has those moments throughout the film that are just kind of like that really you know they're, they're not meant to be funny it really meant right. you know but you you kind of laugh at it it's like okay that that was well done <laughs> um so anyway that's four good days and then finally um what i did start watching uh i only seen three episodes out of it and that of course mm-hmm. is the anime um collection for star wars visions and oh, which right, is all right, available right. now. This is not once a week or anything because they're shorts. They're only mm. fourteen to eighteen minutes long. Uh, okay. So they're like, no, I'm gonna just throw it out out there. <laughs> you know yeah. I mean? But so I've they, only, just, they just put it all out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've only watched the first three. Uh, first one is called the Duel, uh, and that one is the one that has that. No, just the Duel. But I know what you oh. mean. <laughs> uh, you get that, the reference. Thank I you. get the reference. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> this one was regarding. Uh, you've seen the trailer where uh, where the guy stops the, oh God, the not the red, furry. No, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> the, the the guy who stops the light, the red lightsaber with the force right in front of him for a brief second or something like that. Uh, it has that really penciled looking drawing uh, uh, of it, and mm. really cool, dude. This is. This one yeah. is really cool. Yeah. Yes. This one is very, very cool. Very, very Japanese in the sense that the village looks Japanese. The the, the character mm-hmm. who, you, who you're following looks Japanese. This is the one that had that weird lightsaber umbrella, <laughs> you know, that she spins for a hot <laughs> second. You're like, wow, that's very, <laughs> that's very <laughs> anime right there. Um, obviously, the fight. <laughs> now the, you're talking nonsense. The, yeah. yeah. Now you lost me. Yeah. Well, if you see it, you'll understand what it is. Well, it's funny. I saw it in the trailer and I was like, of course. (laughs) (laughs) Anime is going to have some crazy shit like that. Then you see it in the actual episode and I'm like, Okay, I can I see how this makes sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, okay, that's 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 okay. It's Star Wars short. You you got me at um <laughs> lightsaber nunchucks. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You, you know, know that, that happening. Was thing. Yep, that was a thing. You know that was a thing. Uh-huh. Of course it was. Yeah, yeah it was I a wonder thing. how they grabbed them. I who knows. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I remember seeing something like that, though. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> anyway, so the first episode was really, really good. Just, it, I mean, see, the, the title alone uh, makes you feel like you're watching an old uh, uh, Kira Kurosawa type thing because it's also very limited in color, almost black and but white. with the force. The, yeah, but with the force and lightsabers, basically. Um, <laughs> second episode is called Tatooine Rhapsody. And believe it or not, Mm-hmm. It's a little bit of a musical. It's basically oh, <laughs> if you don't get it from the thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, there is a, it's a dude who 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 he gets captured by Jabba the Hutt, or actually in this case Boba Fett, and brought to Jabba the Hutt. And he's actually a drummer, or or I don't know, he was a player of some sort. And and they talk Jabba to let them play a last song before he executes the guy and and then somewhere along it you know so but now now they're at the where, where they were holding the pod races that that big arena area uh-huh. uh and that's where the whole thing takes place and it's it's okay this this one was all right you know this is like okay it was fun that the 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 art style was oh, that's the other thing i love about this the different art styles this one here was a little bit too chibi for me uh-huh. <laughs> you know what i mean uh-huh. uh, but it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It was just okay. That one I'll leave. It was okay. And then the third one I watch is called The Twins. And this one here is absolutely batshit. Fucking anime crazy, bro. <laughs> Without is this the furry one? Doubt. No, no, no. This is not the this okay. is not the furry one. This is not the furry one. Um, this one here is these twins that are born on the dark side. Uh, and they have a star destroyer. That's actually two star destroyers that are connected on end, and where they're connected is this massive, like, death beam. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's just crazy. And of course, the it only works with both their armored suits. Uh, <laughs> and then it turns out that one wants to go good, and the other one, the only wants to keep keep with the dark side. And that's the battle between the two twins. They're obviously, oh, of course, a brother and sister. <laughs> appearing very luke and leia like for the for the record but mm-hmm. really really animated like really exaggerated animated um can i throw a, a wild guess 
Okay. Is the so so the male uh, figure is the one that wants to stay dark, and the uh, female uh, uh, creature is the one that wants to go the light side. Did I nail it? Nope, all the way around. Really? <laughs> yeah, all the way around. That's and bold. She, yeah, <laughs> is it though? Uh, I'll tell you what's bold. When he jumps out of his what appears to be X wing, uh, he jumps out of his X wing to fight her in space on top of the Star Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, so just <laughs> not even space, showing okay. it. It's like, no, you kids, <laughs> you got the show. <laughs> I'll be here with uh, just hanging out with Jar Jar Bings. <laughs> oh my god, dude! <laughs> I just go at it. I still say wow. it, it's that one is like I said, what this if? one is really <laughs> bad shit crazy. Um, but I'm having fun with it. Um, the the second yeah. one I mentioned, the, the Tatooine Rhapsody, I will never have to watch again. It was cool <laughs> for what it was. It did have a hint of something where it looks like the head singer of the group mm. was a Padawan and probably ran away to join this band, um, which was interesting. <laughs> okay. But it never really it never really built upon that. So I was like, okay, all right, well, uh, okay, good to know, <laughs> I guess you know. Um, <laughs> He was being chased, I think is what it was. He was being chased, and I think he realized he was too fearful to be a, Je- uh, a Jedi, and mm. then he just joined this band. And so the, they were in the ba- together for a band for a little bit. Like I said, it's cool, but it's nothing I ever had to watch again. But the, the first mm. one, uh, the duel and the twins are pretty. The twins is just fucking batshit crazy. The, the, the duel <laughs> is pretty fucking cool. Uh, I think there's only like five or no, not five. I think it's like eight total. So I'm, uh, so I'm going to check out the rest. Of it. Again, not very long. I checked them all. I think the longest one was 18 minutes uh and and the rest of them are anywhere between 12 and 15 so um okay. really really cool and i you know i i want to sort of celebrate this in a sense that what star wars needs is something new does it need to be batches crazy no but <laughs> it does need to say we don't need skywalkers we don't need yeah. You know, your normal thing, you know, say what you say, what I want about that uh, Tatooine Rhapsody. It was something different that still existed in that world and was kind of cool. You know yeah. what I mean? And so, yeah, um, that's why I'm like, I really enjoy this because after the Rise of Skywalker, dude, I really, really am just writing <laughs> off Star Wars for the most part. You know, they can say episode 10 is coming. I'm like, good uh, yeah. we'll catch it maybe later <laughs> on when it comes out or whatever that's how disinterested i am and when i saw the trailer for this and i know you weren't too too taken aback by it but i definitely was like and i got it you know it's like none of this is canon but right. i'm like if if we can have something special that makes sense and, and and still celebrates the material um then yeah man i'm in i'm in you know what i mean I, i'll take that that's what i that's one thing i liked about rogue one well we didn't ask for that we could have done no. without it, yeah. But it was done yeah. so well, and it was just like, man, this is actually very good. I can sit and watch that movie again. It's a one-off, you know what I mean? I can. Rogue One that. was what we would have liked. What we would have liked Star Wars to have become. Correct, exactly. Like yeah. you don't need the Skywalker lineage. Just do no. some. Just do something well done. Give mm-hmm. it a, a real, uh, some real stakes because the stakes in that shit were real. I was just like, fuck, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and then, you know, throw in some players and yeah, if you want to, you want to connect it somewhere, you know, or you have your princess Leia's moment at the end and all, okay, you, you do that. You do that. Mm-hmm. But the journey there was just that excellent. And, uh, and yeah, man, I thought, I thought, uh, so yeah, that's what I'm saying that I, I really dig this, but uh, anyway, all I have to say that is all that I have been doing. I am the black knight. Welcome back, guys. And, wait, no, it's not welcome back. Fuck. Yeah, welcome back. We're, we're back. And we're, we're back. back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah same, hey. Oh, you messed up the script. Okay, I no. Did. All right. Once, once again, from the top. From the top. All right. Lights. Camera that we don't have. Action. And we're back, guys. <laughs> and it is time <laughs> for our trailer <laughs> of the week. 
because we are going to have a trailer this week and holy balls this is gonna be a good hold one. on to your butts <laughs> hold on to your butts yes oh my god Sarah. this is a trailer this is this is a trailer let me tell you <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, uh, sir! I, do you want to do you want to talk about it or should I? I, 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 I my words are not gonna give it justice, <laughs> so <laughs> I I don't want that responsibility <laughs> at this point. Like we have had, you know, good movies come out this year, great movies, some might say. Uh, well, actually, good movies, I say, but um, I mean, this one might be the the the, the game changer. <laughs> yeah, this this is this is a 2021er. It, is it confirmed for 2021? Is that it is? Really? Well, it says 2021, so I it okay. can only really go by, by that. Um, so or maybe off, it goes back in time. Go ahead. <laughs> I, so first of all, the movie is called New York Ninja, and oh, so it is good. literally 37 years in the making. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a lie, guys. Uh, Thirty-seven is, years in the making. Yeah, wow. this is. We will definitely share the trailer because I feel like everyone needs to partake of the, of this viewing, uh, yes. which is like lighting up in YouTube, by the way. But anyway, <laughs> so what it is is uh, this movie was meant to be released in 1984. Uh, <laughs> it was filmed completely. But the company behind it and the people behind it fell apart and they couldn't do anything with it. And it literally sat without sound (laughs) and without proper editing for 37 years. And then for some reason, uh, the company uh, uh, Vinegar Syndrome picks it up, painstakingly puts the shit together, gets actual voice actors now to fill in the uh the 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 story so it's not even the real the voices of the real actors no no that's why it looks it looks dubbed doesn't it look dubbed (laughs) (laughs) and it is there was so much happening that i probably missed that (laughs) like i was thinking honestly i was thinking that the take that i was what was going in my head was like Wow, how did they made it to look like one of them old movies? And, and no, it's because it actually is. <laughs> it actually, it actually is. Was. Yeah. And they wow. put it together and now it is finally getting released. And of course, this movie was meant to come out during the huge ninja craze of the 80s, right? Remember yeah. American Ninja? You remember yeah. Ninja 1, Ninja 2? Uh, you know, all Ninja this scroll. crazy, the, the, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> wow, <that was> animation. <laughs> yeah, why not? Come on. Yeah. I, mean, I do there. remember just... that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, a great movie. Very great it is. Anime. It is, yeah. <laughs> um, and so, it, it, but, you know, again, fell apart and for whatever reason couldn't do it. <laughs> so I guess <laughs> someone said, well, let's give it life. Let's, let's, let's give it its due after all this time. Someone, and, someone stumbled on it, on it by accident and thought, holy shit, we found gold. <laughs> <laughs> like litter of gold right here. Pretty fellas. much. Pretty I have much. an idea. Listen to me. All right. It is insane that this freaking movie even exists. Oh yeah. Um, and even more so being released soon. Um, and so they do have voices. Uh, There's a few voices here that, that, that were listed off on the trailer as well. I only recognize two. They are well-known, um, martial artists, Don, the dragon Wilson. Uh, he was a martial artist from back in those days. He's probably a lot older now, (laughs) but he was a martial (laughs) artist back in those days. And he was, um, he started his own bunch of Kung Fu flicks. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, Cynthia Rothrock was another one who starred in no retreat, no surrender Two. Uh, she she had she was wow. a, a blonde um, martial artist and and think she's actually back into boxing or something like that. But she's she, obviously she's oh, wow. older at this point. Um, so anyway, they got a lot of these names from the past to essentially you know lend their voice to these characters because <laughs> they didn't have the audio. The audio's gone. It's just nowhere to be found. <laughs> you know what wow. I mean? So they had to probably in some way find a script, 
or use some crazy mouth, you know, lip reading. Like, I mean, let's just try to figure out what the hell's going on in this story. Technology. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, wow, and, yeah. it's a complete rewrite of the movie. <laughs> it could be. It could be. We have no idea until until they say we have no idea. Uh, so I agree, sir. I'm 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 fairly excited. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. I don't know why. I mean, I'm going to watch it. It's, it's only one of those once, things that you know? don't happen often. It's it's like fucking it's like playing Blood Dragon, you know? It's, yeah. it's, it's like, dude, nailed it. That's exactly what it is. Oh it my God. is. Yeah. It's like he just brought from the past and like here, let's let's watch a movie that should have come that is completely out of the time and the era that it came out, but that's what makes it Super mega stand out, obviously. And not only that, but first time I hear that, you know, that gets done like, whoa, the movie has no audio. Let's just let's just recreate the audio. Yeah. That, like that alone <laughs> it's should amazing. be reason to to see it to see just to see how, how it ended up, you know. Because even if it ends up like like so so, you know, like who cares? It, for the type of movie that is going, like the movie wasn't going for top hollywood like not no. even in that era no. like that's not what the movie seems to be have to seem to have been going the movie seems to have been going for the straight to video ninja craze fulfilling uh, yeah yeah that's know, all it was it was it was a small company trying to make a ninja movie trying to get a mm-hmm. cash grab of the time you know what i mean yeah and and it, and it never went anywhere um it's, they sat on it and boy they they're ready that's check now. And oh. believe it or not, it's completely restored in 4K. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, yeah. You know, you know that 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 the the um that's actually easier with film. I've uh, heard. I've heard uh, 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 to do. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because uh because it, it the, there's no limitation of well this this uh, movie was shot digitally. Well, great. That means that we have digital probably like 1080p uh limited uh, mm-hmm. uh, resolution. Uh, uh resolution then now we have to like up rest somehow and try to like fake it no no none of that none of that you're actually getting pure 4k and and it, and it looks amazing and yeah that's uh that was i think there was a i want to say it was a probably like a george michael video that that was kind of like restored, restored and everybody was yeah, that everybody was like, like super, like wow, how how is it possible that they make that they make this video look so good? And it was because of that. It was like because well, it's the original format was film, so it's easier to make into 4K. So I'm not surprised actually that they're going that far allowed. And I wouldn't be surprised if suddenly this movie has like fucking Dolby Atmos and shit since they're <laughs> yeah, doing, they just, yeah, it's they're new doing audio, the, yeah. audio now, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. I, so first of all, I am pretty cool. I, I'm pretty glad, first of all, that you're you're de- you're liking it because it's just I was oh, just no, like man. honestly, I was I would have been like falling on my sword on this dude. I was like, no, <laughs> I know, I know it looks old. I, I get it. Uh, but dude, no, you that's the whole point. You know, it's like it's it's a gem that got th- that got you know unearthed, you know, from wherever it was fucking stored for god knows yeah, how long yeah, yeah. I mean, that was the whole point. just said yeah let's do it let's let's bring it back let's you know it, it can't cost that much to do you know just to get the audio and whatever and uh we already have it filmed <laughs> it's already <laughs> filmed we just need audio you know what i mean and and you know credit to the credit to the guys who 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 are marketing and stuff like that because i mean i, I probably would have stumbled upon it anyway but i i feel like this is like i feel like this is an enzion joint like I feel like this yes. is something the end oh, of the show. Please let it be at the end. That would be so awesome. To I agree, one hundred percent. Actually, we saw. Believe it or not, we saw Enter the Dragon. Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon in the end. Oh and they just shit! Did right, yeah, that was the not too long ago, right? The uh, yeah, well, it was a few years ago. It was, oh, it was okay. a while, yeah. And um, but yeah, I love that the fact that that theater exists and and just yeah. does little things like that. And I can definitely see this being a uh uh an enzian joint for sure for sure yeah uh, and so anyway so our trailer of the week guys is <laughs> new york ninja 37 year old movie finally making it finally yeah time, and who knows if if it uh brings up the ninja craze yet who knows long overdue. Know. yeah yeah <laughs> remember uh was it no what was it assassin ninja assassin 
That was the last really big ninja movie I remember seeing. And it was a lot of CG. That was the ninja only Ninja Assassin, yeah. Ninja Assassin, yeah, yeah. It was it was it was it was like mid like mid twenty like twenty tens, somewhere around there. Actually, fuck, I have a computer. I can look this shit up. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> ninja <laughs> Assassin. Let's see. Two thousand nine, almost. Uh, yeah, and it was played. Oh, I forgot the dude Rain. Uh, uh, a I think he's a Korean pop star. <laughs> is the <laughs> one who played the played the dude. Uh, but hey, credit to him. He did pretty well. He did pretty well. He was very yeah. uh, very uh, believable. <laughs> anyway. Holy shit, dude! Before we go into the before we go into, and this always happens. So you shouldn't be surprised. Oh, this is the this is a new segment that we have, which is David forgot. Yeah! We talk about the one thing that I didn't bring up oh. that I actually did. And it's going to be real quick because I'm not going to take time on this one. Uh, but I need to report on Halo Infinite. I, I, I literally thought you weren't because you're like, you didn't have was, enough time or something. I was like, that. So I was like I was, oh, I was like, oh, shit. Okay. Well, I guess he's. Okay. No, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Like, if if you know if you know those things, just smack me in the head virtually. <laughs> let me know. It's like, dude, because <laughs> I was literally playing that before we started the show. The whole point was, let me at least have some impression of it. Uh, obviously, it's not gonna be anything long or anything because I've only played what like an hour, <laughs> maybe an hour and a half, whatever mm-hmm. time it took us to, um, uh, to get ready to get out from work and get ready. But uh, I was it's like I had no like. I had no expectation because the last two Halos have kind of disappointed me, and 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 I was not like, just okay, you, well, many I, folks, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, also, I don't think I, I'm in the part where I'm in the part of my life where I longer call myself like a a a, a hardcore uh, Halo multiplayer. I mean, I was never a hardcore Halo multiplayer, but I did play it more than other multiplayer because I I did enjoy it. For some reason, it, it, it's I, I like the the time to live. It was long enough to like you know make some save. It was not the stupid Call of Duty like oh he saw me I'm dead boom gone. Wait, sir, the Respond. game. <laughs> the so, game. <laughs> so <laughs> the game. Uh, it oh, was God. it was I forgot what I was gonna say about it. Now. Oh. That memorable? No, no. Yeah. It was uh, no, because the, the 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 first of all, graphically, like it looks good. You know, it it that, it has never been like the type of graphics that will like super fucking blow your mind or anything like that. But it was, uh, I mean, it 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 looks fine um, for what it's trying to do. But uh, and I started playing, and I was like, oh, okay, this feels fine i guess and this uh, areas obviously it's a beta so it's not showing you everything but like this arena is like we have gone past the arena sections where it there's kind of small and they don't feel interesting of course they're just presenting you like a few because by the end of of my playthrough i was like holy shit i can't believe this is gonna be free this is amazing oh my mm-hmm. god i'm having so much fun. like i was literally like you can ask my wife i was literally laughing as i was playing it with the stupid thing that 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 the game had uh gunplay it was it was very feeling very very solid um the the experience the the uh Music, for example, it was they want to make sure that you understand that this is going back to its root, even though it has like new crazy shit, like it has the grapple and all that, which is mm-hmm. awesome. But they want to drill home, like, oh, okay, no, just kind of forget that oh, Halo 4 and 5 happened. It, this is <laughs> this is uh, this is Halo Infinite, and and it's kind of it's maybe it's a soft reboot, I don't know what Infinite is, but uh, it plays super, super solid, super well. Um, I have some. Funny moments with the bots because, uh, which I've heard nothing but gr- great things about it. It's like, oh man, these bots are kind of amazing. I'm looking at, at the at, at the showing of some of them, and yeah, when they're attacking, when they're on on the play field, they they they, they play in a way that feels like okay, these are this this could mimic maybe not mimic exactly, but this could be this is convincing. You know, okay. this is a convincing challenge um but there were still some 
areas where they will start gl- kind of like glitching out and, and kind of like not moving. And I think I show you a video like, oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the AI, you know, it's not it's not the sharpest tool in, in the shed. You know, they're not because <laughs> it's, it's they in beta. Like, you can forgive that in beta. So. No, no, definitely. Yeah. I when when I when I what I saw, which I went from no excitement, you know, for, for this game to like, holy shit, I, I need to get on this. Uh, in just like a basic hour uh, that I play, uh, that's that says a lot. Um, and it seems to have all you know. It, it seems to have the the all the trappings of like, oh well, it has season passes and it has the the magics that you can buy with real money, and it has the uh, the the. Uh, you know the cosmetics, but also he has the experience doublers and stuff like that. Oh, but okay. at at that point, at that point, I, I'm willing to forgive just because it's a free. It, it's a, the free portion. Like you could get this game, you yeah. could play this game. You don't have to buy uh, Halo Infinite to download and have an like, experience. And it doesn't seem like it's gonna be like just oh well, you didn't buy Halo Infinite, so you don't get the full version of the multiplayer. No. It seems to be the full version of the multiplayer what you're getting. Obviously, that's not what was presented on the beta. The beta has a lot of places where it says placeholder or coming soon or it's so Lauren. But but uh it seems like the way they're gonna go about monetizing it is like, well, just like Apex Legend did, did just like Fortnite did, just like those type of games, and 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 if the gameplay is just solid, then I feel confident saying, okay, this is there's a probability that Halo could actually be back on, on, on this one. And I'm really, really excited because shooting those weapons just felt so good. I have heard um, from some other uh, shows and stuff that, that, that I watch and all that. And, and there is a lot of bo- uh, positive buzz uh, around this um, this beta that, that they did. Um, yeah. And almost almost really similar where it's like you know your initial impressions are you kind of looking around okay i see whatever mm. but it just takes a few moments and finally suddenly you're into the into the gameplay and it's fun it's hilarious people are laughing and people are enjoying uh there were talks about um some weird weapon that almost like a pulse thing that can that can knock you off the 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 map and you know all this <laughs> stuff and, and then the little ways of of playing around with it and then the vehicle gameplay and and all these little things where it's like okay if it, it feels like it feels like three four three finally understands what made Halo sp- special I mean yes obviously Master Chief and and the single player and all that that's part of it as well uh, and hopefully they can land that because my understanding is and you, you just kind of uh, mm said that the last two which is all three four three um you know wasn't great when it, yeah was not great when it came to the story so mm. hopefully they can address that but clearly even for yeah. kind of having a romance or some weird shit like that's like no come on yeah uh, come on. cool man i'm glad, like, I'm glad you, you tried it though i like the uh that was uh one uh one section where uh i grab a grenade uh a gr- uh rocket launcher and and I kill. Uh, I think it was like two guys. I did a double kill. The only thing that the announcer says is like rockets. <laughs> like <laughs> hell yeah, wow. that's awesome. <laughs> it was so funny. And he has like each um, like when you play multiplayer, you can also pick. You can customize your Spartan in like very different very different ways and i would imagine that they will continue going crazy with that shit mm-hmm. but uh one of the things that you can customize is actually your ai so it's not like it, you know it doesn't have to be like cortana or anything like that it's just like basic ai and each of them have like their personalities and i picked one which i swear it kind of reminds me of glados and I fucking mm. love that it's oh, like yeah, oh yeah awesome. and that's what they play it's like okay i i can't wait to hear what other uh, AIs put? Because they they put the, the the one of them that sounds very much like Jarvis, uh, uh, oh, or or okay. trying to mimic that. Uh, another one that is kind of like actually kind of hey, cool. I, I wouldn't here. mind a Jarvis. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't mind a Jarvis. Oh, I would. I I'm, I was happy with the Glados. It's like you have performed to acceptable levels. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like filling the blanks here. It 
it's 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 really good. it's really good but again very early what i have yeah, yeah, yeah. what i have experienced it's, it's just what the game showed me and what yeah, i played yeah, yeah. it it's enough to like if we had me like loling loud i was like okay <laughs> okay halo <laughs> you got well my done. attention well now <laughs> <laughs> that's good that's good i'm glad i'm glad like i said if there's one thing <sighs> i am you know obviously i i, I am in the uh playstation camp and all that stuff but play i competition is good and one thing that i know has led to some weird choices by sony is because they don't feel they have competition in in this front and Mm -hmm. this is a good step in the right direction for them to go no hey you have a competitor uh you just don't think you do but you do (laughs) they're there (laughs) and they're little by little uh you know setting things up so i'm glad to hear that uh especially for halo fans um i never really care for halo but i understand its importance uh and how how um i mean if nothing nothing stops you if 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 this was a let's say like a soft reboot for example uh and you were to at some point own an xbox like hell yeah dude you should totally grab it it is they they've all, even the even the shittiest ones are still very good shooters in their end. You know, when we say shitty, we don't mean like, oh well, it lacks it lacks quality. No, Halo 4 looked fucking amazing. And Halo 5 ran like a dream because it was the first one that it was pure 60 on previous generation consoles. So it was kind of even more amazing. And it looked really good. It's just the story was shit, but the last yeah, the, the last game itself, was, the gameplay itself uh, was amazing. Halo Three, that was the one actually. Uh, that yeah, I everybody played. says that was a good one, and it didn't stuck with you. But I think it's because oh, yeah. you never played the first two. So. Maybe, yeah, I, I really have a connection to it. So right, right, right. right. Uh, all right, uh, real quick, Mouthful's Games Radar. Just want to throw radar. a couple of titles out there. Uh, first off, we have Hot Wheels Unleashed, uh, which came uh, coming to yes. PC, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Switch. Actually, uh, a it good is available one. Uh, yesterday. Yeah, and I did hear. I've heard a lot of good things about that. I'm not a big mm-hmm. racer, but I think you are, and I think uh, oh, yeah. this is something that may be right up your alley. I might um, actually check this out for reals, for reals. I was looking at a review from Skillup, and... Uh, I was like, okay, yeah, this could actually work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, 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 the the tracks are pretty much. I don't know. Did you ever have Hot Wheels when you were a kid? Because I did. I had like I a. Did. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. I love those Hot Wheels, man. Uh, anyway, and then the second game, I am only going on early impressions, uh, but I do want to throw it out there, and because I someone said this, and I can't say where it was, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say who the person was, but um, the, a new world. Uh, new World MMO, which uh, is New uh, World, yes. just came out from Amazon uh, Game Studios. <laughs> you know, holy like, shit! This has been going. Yes, this people game. are really on board uh, with this, and yes. it's like it's. It feels like they've they've actually nailed it, uh, and they are presenting something new to the uh, to the MMO space. Yeah. That you know has has had the same players for a while. You know what I mean. So, mm-hmm. and uh, some old things like uh, <laughs> long queue times to well, log yes. in. Okay, of course, of course. Well, that's, <laughs> that's usually Evidently. something. Yeah, early on, <laughs> you know, they're figuring it out. Uh, but anyway, um, those are the two games uh, that have popped up on our radar for this week. So I just wanted to give them a shout out. And anybody's interested in, by all means, go check them out. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on on into our useless news. And of course, news. we're going to start off right at the top with the free games for October. Uh, we're going to start right, with... That's yeah. right. That's right. October's oh, it's here. It's the... It's literally the, here. Yeah, yeah. It's the podcast Saltis. So, as I called it, so... Podcast Saltis. I don't know. Oh, well, it's the Saltis. It's, oh. Well, it's the season. Just go with it, sir. Okay, fine. It's don't think it is, about yeah. it too much. These jokes are not it. meant to be thought. <laughs> There you go. That's it. Was that so hard? You're well, right, actually, from right. you, it's kind of hard. Yeah, you're right. Uh, all right. So, PlayStation. We'll start with PlayStation uh, free games. The first game is PlayStation 5's Hell Let Loose, uh, which is a World War II inspired multiplayer game that was first released on PC back in July after being in early access since 2019, uh, touting 100 player battles with a unique, unique resource RTS inspired meta game. Uh, so that's one of the games. Sounds interesting. Of course, I tagged them all anyway. It sounds interesting. Um, 
The next one is mm-hmm. PlayStation 4's PGA Tour 2K21. Uh, of course, mm. this is a licensed golf game, and I know no one here is interested mm. except for myself uh, <laughs> because I do love me some golf, and golf games are a lot of fun. Uh, and then last, of course, <laughs> but certainly not least, that is Mortal Kombat X. Uh, Mortal Kombat X was released uh. in 2015 and was the first time each character had their own selection of fighting styles to choose from. Um that of course these games will run from october 4th until november the 1st uh if you haven't already make sure you tag uh overcooked all you can eat hitman 2 and or predator hunting grounds uh for they will be gone on october 4th uh, any right. any ones here that you're oh you you always you you tag them all uh i but, do tag uh, them all but it, it's uh i'm i'm curious to know what hell let loose is um, because it sounds like it looks, it's a multiplayer game at the same time, but oh, yeah, there's also it this weird little meta uh base resource thing where it's like, okay, uh, you know, all right, let's see what that is. Um interesting, and since it's coming for, with the service, why not give it a shot? You know what I mean? Yeah, PGA yeah, exactly. definitely. Looks I'm in cool. I'm in on PGA, and I know you're not, and very few people are. I get that, but mm-hmm. I do I've always liked uh golfing games. I like golfing, and I've always liked golfing games. And they're always a lot of fun. Mortal Kombat X, I'll probably get just to just to check it out, check out the story, see what the hell's going on. Because I've been so disconnected. Yeah, that, from that was Kombat. like that was like good Mortal Kombat. I hear it's the I last mean, good one to get for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true to get for free. Twenty fifteen. Oh wait, it's ten, right? It's not ten. Was was that? But there's an there's eleven, an 11 right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Damn. Wow. I'm, eleven I'm is the one that Chaos mentioned sucked, but he also had to get it because it was going to have spawn. So. Right, exactly, yeah. and why he, when he said he, he knows the intricacies, why it sucks. It's certainly not a bad game. No, it's no, just, not if at you're all, a fan, all, yeah. if you know the intricacies of it, you might not like some things like he didn't. But the game itself, like I the found game, it yeah. fucking excellent. You know? Yeah, yeah. He, he but just then said again, what do I know about Mortal Kombat? I know, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what do I uh, know about fighting games? You know, I only play them for the story. <laughs> I hear you. Uh, the game's coming for, uh, Microsoft games with gold. Uh, first off on the Xbox 360's backwards compatible side of things, Castlevania Harmony of Despair will be available from October 1st through the 15th and Resident Evil Cold Veronica will be available from October 16th through the 31st. Uh, these two titles are perfect for anyone, of course, during the holiday, uh, Halloween holiday season. Uh, okay. Then we have a game called Hover, uh, which is described by Microsoft as futuristic open world game where players take control of a group of young rebels known as the Gamers to fight no, uh, against me. oppressive societal <laughs> laws, uh, all while performing cool hover based tricks and combos. Okay, Sounds yeah, like you guys. Sounds super, like exactly, yeah, you super mega lost me there. Yeah, I uh, mean, <laughs> it's not jet skate, just what's it called? Jet skate radio? No, I forgot oh, what it's called. jet grind radio? Jet grind radio, yeah, there you go. You said totally not that. Oh, uh, yeah, sure it does. Uh, and the last <laughs> one is Aerial, which is a music based game that will see players racing through stunning environments, tracing ribbons of light. And fighting epic boss battles to the tune of licensed music from Nausea, Flux Pavilion, KDB, The Prototypes, Neo Signal, and more. Holy shit, it has Neo Signal? It sure does. And this Who the is fuck is Neo Signal? The, I agree. I was going to say, this is how you know you've gotten old. <laughs> what <do> you, <laughs> like a, ga- a music game of today. So it was a bunch of names at you and you're going, huh? Huh? I don't know any of these folks, uh, but uh, yeah. Suddenly, so those are your... hell let loose doesn't look that bad, huh? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so those are October's uh, free games. Uh, and again, free is a really loose term. It's not free. It comes with a service. But the games that will come with Games <laughs> of Gold and, uh, of course, PlayStation. It's free after you pay the subscription. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. So uh, this one came out of nowhere. Um, Konami has reportedly greenlit in uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. 
I'm in. Yeah. Oh, you're in. Definitely. Oh, I'm in. Yeah, definitely. I'm Wait for reviews. It is now. Konami after all. But yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, not for pachinko machines. It says Euro Gamer. Lol. <laughs> The remake of Metal Gear Solid 3 is reportedly in the works with Konami's handling hand, handling development to Virtuous Studios. That, according to a VGC report, that also lists a number of other upcoming unannounced Konami projects, such as a remaster of other Metal Gear Solid titles and a new Castlevania reimagining. Ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, reimagine well they were all reimagines who cares reimaginings <laughs> being worse. worked on internally all due to be announced next year virtuous previously worked on the nintendo switch ports of xcom 2 and bioshock and supported development on blockbusters such as star, star wars jedi fallen order and shadow of the tomb raider despite konami's acrimonious split from Metal Gear, uh, from Metal Gear Solid's creator Hideo Kojima, its subsequent move into pachinko t- uh, machines. Um, Eurogamer sources suggest that the publisher has moved over a new version of Metal Gear Solid Three for some time. Uh, by the way, this is me talking. Uh, did I mention that the Stranding Director Scott is a Hideo Kojima game? You did. Oh, just want to make sure I don't miss that. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, one earlier idea would have seen the game remade by Konami in Kojima's Fox Engine, with the game's cutscene repurposed from work done on the awful Metal Gear sl- uh, Solid <laughs> slot machines. <laughs> no Euro gamers. <laughs> Pull punches, you don't. Uh, but the idea never surfaced, and Konami has now moved away from the Fox Engine. PES. Uh, slash eFootball, the only franchise to have used the engine in years, dished it for the series' latest and very troubled new entry. (laughs) After years in the wilderness, uh, Konami seems finally ready to get many of its fans' favorite franchises back back in development. Just last week, Konami officially announced its Castlevania Advance Collection of fast games, which will soon release for PC, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox. And what about other franchises? You know, the you know the one earlier this year, Silent Hill composer Akira Yamaoka appeared to speak a little too soon with a quickly deleted tease that he was back at work on a project quote you're hoping to hear about end quote. Eurogamer understand Konami wasn't too pleased about that. Okay, so the price um, is canceled then now. Yeah, probably, that, you know? yeah. <laughs> well done. Exactly, exactly. Um anyway, that's the that's uh, you know that that's the thing. Uh it has more over here, but you guys should check out uh Eurogamer's uh take on it. Uh I don't have to ask you how you feel about them. Metal Gear Solid 3 uh, remake because he obviously sound uh, very uh, excited about it. Uh, I, 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 still, I would be down. I would be I, down uh, with it. And my only issue, of course, it is Konami. Uh, and so it's one of the things where I'll have to wait and see. But <laughs> I'm still excited for it. If, if they can pull that off on the in the Fox engine? <laughs> well, I, I, I remember, they're, they're not doing the Fox engine anymore. The Fox engine looked... Amazing, but evidently it doesn't seem like it was that that amazing to work. Or they didn't know how to handle it. I, I was gonna know. say they, they let go of the one out. person who can figure that shit out. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Whose that person said, "Like, that? fine, I'll just grab up another engine." And he, he, the, the other guys were like, "Hey, uh, Kojima, we we have a Decima engine here. You might want to take a look." And Kojima was like, "What are you talking about?" Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh well, look at this. This, this, looky, this looky is quite here. nice. Yeah. <laughs> look at here. Oh, you can do this. Okay, I tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like no, I think uh, I think uh, I will. Yeah. I will use that in. Exactly, just like that. I know. I, I will know. use that in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, my next piece, guys. Uh, X Tangle GameWorks developer. Hmm? We all know her. We all know and love her. Ikumi Nakamura. Is working Yay. on the Gungrave sequel. Uh, during Tokyo Game Show's 2021, 
Uh, Gungrave Gore developer Coke Media showcased some new gameplay, <laughs> a video, and announced that Ikumi Nakamura is involved in the game's development. Well, the first half of the trailer dedicated to cinematic scenes from the Gun Graves, Grun- Gun Grave sequel. The second half, of course, shows some uh, gameplay, and it is very fast-paced. I don't know if you've seen the trailer, sir, but it's very, uh, you know, uh, what? Not no more, no more heroes. What the one that you like? The, the. Oh my god! <laughs> what is the uh, Devil May Cry? No. It has that really fast-paced oh, it, action. What's the other one that you oh, played? Oh, um, Bayonetta and uh, what, what? yeah, Bayonetta and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, Nier Automata. Nier Automata. Yeah. So this is all right up your alley. But it is also extremely cool to see uh, the lovely Ikumi Nakamura land a spot uh, in a game that she's obviously uh, into. And uh, she yes. says, this Gungrave Gore collaboration has been a valuable experience for me. Uh, I played the original Gungrave, so this has brought back lots of precious memories. You can expect more updates and news soon uh, from now on. Uh, it is being developed, of course, for PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Series X, and PC. Please be excited. Please be excited. Uh, that's a piece of news here I want to let you uh, tackle because that's uh, that's all you on the way you deliver it. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to be... <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I have it, so... Just cue in the blue point one. Uh, oh. Oh, yes. Monster Hunter Rise! It's coming to PC in January. What? Capcom also briefly mentioned some new monsters coming to Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. Capcom hosted a Monster Hunter stream on Thursday to offer a few new details on a Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, the upcoming expansion expansion revealed during last week's Nintendo Direct. The details around Rise long awaited PC debut on January 12, 2022. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise is finally coming to PC after nearly a year of Switch exclusivity. The PC version will feature all of the patch content and Monsters Plus, uh, but with 4K support, high-res textures, high fr- higher frame rate, optimized keyboard and mouse control. It's going to be a fucking PC port, guys. <laughs> you know, it's, 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 that's basically... That's it. So, in terms... Of some breaks of some break, Capcom revealed that Malzino Malzino is the new Elder Dragon. Oh, it's a made up name. There you go, Malzino guys. You know Malzino. You know the (laughs) Elder Dragon, uh, and flagship monster who appears heavily in the expansion trailer. There is also a new castle castle ruins location, which also features which was also featured in the reveal. Where the sky turns red. Ooh. <laughs> Shogun Senator is also coming to Sun to Sunbreak, a returning monster that first appeared in Monster Hunter 2. Those are the only two monsters Capcom was able to talk about on Thursday's stream, but the studio revealed that more old monsters will return with Sunbreak's release next summer. How excited about you, Monster Hunter on PC? Fine. Oh, that's right. That's, you, know, right. you don't give a shit about either one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I feel like I'm being attacked. No. It's just an inquiry. <laughs> uh, and I don't know. We know that you're going to get the, 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 Steam, the Steam Deck. The clearly. Steam Deck. Uh, clearly, clearly. It's right up my alley. Shit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, all right. Let's address the obvious you know elephant in the room apparently <laughs> the, the uh, obvious, the yeah, news. Yeah, obvious yeah um you know what's sad i, I literally didn't even have it checked <laughs> oh, that's how sad that is although I I you were excited happened. about this one I, I, did, you posted I, yeah, it. I am excited about it uh so for the record guys if you don't know uh it is finally official uh after being leaked accidentally by japan <laughs> by sony japan <laughs> whoops uh yeah Oopsie. whoops a little early on this. We didn't, you know, the ink hasn't even dried yet, and we're already <laughs> coming out. Uh, Herman Holtz has officially made it official. Hmm. Officially like made it official. Made it today, right. he, he says, Today, I'm very excited to announce the PlayStation Studios has grown again with the addition of longtime partner Blue Point Games. Uh, from the exceptional PlayStation 5 remake of Demon's Souls to the critically acclaimed PlayStation 4 remake of Shadows of the Colossus. And remasters of fan favorites like Uncharted, the Net, Uncharted, 
the Nathan Drake collection, Blue Point has built its name uh, for itself, creating some of the highest quality masters and remakes in the industry. Uh, with each of these projects, Blue Point has raised the bar on console defining visuals, gameplay, and the studio's vast expertise in the world of building character, uh, building and character creation. Uh, will be huge plus for PlayStation Studios properties. Uh, in essence, uh, yeah, those are those are pretty much what they've worked on. Um, and for the record, mm. have done excellent uh, jobs at it. But uh, am I excited for it? I am. I'm just curious to know. There's no announcement with what they're doing with them going uh, forward. Uncle Trayer, they are oh. not saying it specifically, but they're saying that their next project is actually original IP. It's not going to be a remake. Okay, yeah. Well, well other than that, <laughs> they have nothing to show is what I'm trying to say. It's like it, it's no... still reason to be excited. Uh, they demonstrated their 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 uh, uh, programming chops. Oh. So they could, you know, they could, For they could sure. give us something. Yeah, programming know? chops is... Without question, um, yeah. but I, I, you know, I would, you know, I don't know what what they can bring when it comes to original story right, and all that. Right, right, right. Um, so we'll see what that what comes. So yes, that, right. that is exciting news, and you know, in the sense that, you know, one, I think this was an almost like a not I would say obvious, but almost obvious acquisition. It's almost like <laughs> you might as well they're remaking what? all your shit really, really well. Oh, <laughs> you oh, know what I mean? Obvious. Uh, okay, so let's 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 backpedal on that. So uh Jim Bryan said earlier this year that he wanted to uh uh to focus on uh, remakes and on PC and and on PC well he went ahead and bought uh uh that studio uh forgot the name but the the the, the studio Infinite. that does Flexi, I don't very know. very good ports on PC, on PCs, yep. uh, and then for remakes, uh, they got Blue Point, so it's almost like there is a pattern there yeah. forming. I don't know, yeah. you know, I'm just but throwing they, ideas. They're there. also saying they're they're about to make their own IP, so it's like or yeah. their own original IP, so it's like, well, that also contradicts that too. But yeah, to me, it was a very obvious. I, uh, acquisition if you know if, if, if someone were to say hey do you think who do you think is like i think they should fucking get blue point i mean they just i mean I, and, and not only are they fucking leaked. leaked it so like worse did they... i mean before the leak <laughs> i think i think before the leak it would have been because oh. even, yeah. even when we saw that leak i was like yeah that makes perfect sense why yeah, why it's logical, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. logical yeah the logical logistics very, it's, yeah but it's a good acquisition i'm glad happy they're in the family and yeah excited to see what they bring yeah 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 Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Definitive Edition leaks in new rating. Rumor remaster to include GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas for modern platforms. A new rating for Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy Definitive Edition, appears to verify reports that remasters of the original PlayStation 2 and Xbox era trilogy is coming to modern platforms. Korea's uh, Korea's Game Rating and Administration Committee, gener generally a reputable indicator of releases, recently published a rating for Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy Definitive Edition for unspecified platforms from publisher Take-Two Interactive. Take-Two has not announced a definitive <laughs> edition release, but the publisher said in August that he has three new iterations of previously released titles, hmm, which described as ports and remastered titles in his pipeline. Hmm. A remaster of the trilogy, Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, Vice City, and San Andreas, has long been rumored. Uh, a report from Kotaku in August, citing sources, uh, said that the three games are being remastered in Unreal Engine. Wow with a mix of new and old graphics, as well as an updated, but still classic, user interface. Uh, a Rockstar spokesperson did not provide comment on the rating when contacted by Polygon. Well, of course, duh. Uh, how excited are you, sir, about Grand Theft Auto, the definitive edition? Oh, wait, that's right. Hold on, I forgot. You don't give two shits about Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> I the sad part is that I did at some point. You I, 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 pooper I, of party. I played to completion Grand Theft Auto Three and Vice City. Oh, Vice City was so fun. good. Tell but me, Vice City was not. Vice City was great. Fantastic. It, it was, was great. great. It, it was, was great. for its time. It was great. 
Uh, yes. Try playing it now, and you're like, ooh. Well, the, if they the do a proper remaster. The, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the, the fact that they that they uh, they're gonna do the uh, the fucking remaster makes a lot of sense. Mm. And I gotta say, I kind of wouldn't mind dabbling in it again yeah. if they don't change anything. You know, because I, I I enjoy it for what it was. It wasn't this massive game, no. uh, although fucking red dead redemption 2 completely throws my my entire argument out the window because i fucking played that it shit totally the, the fact that you like red dead redemption 2 and dislike grand theft auto 5 it just like it comp- like if it wasn't for the fact that you have such a fucking strong uh foundation as a gamer it would have destroyed your whole credibility it, it, it does no it does if let's, it let's, wasn't for the fact that you have such is. a fucking solid foundation like like fucking like titanium Let, let's levels. call it what it is <laughs> i have no i have no you know my argument holds no water whatever <laughs> whatever, whatever you have no well, it, it can't, I can't even make that argument with a straight face. I can't even bro, it, to say you have no taste in gaming will be ludicrous because you have the finest taste in gaming. It's just, it, but it's one of those mysteries that are meant to be unsolved. <laughs> that's that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, you're probably right. I just, I, I it's weird because I was just thinking about Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 the other day and how much. I really like that freaking game. I was just like, I don't know <laughs> why I spent so much time on it and, and, and no, saw it through to the end. And, oh, and I was just like, you're what? killing me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, tough. it's breaking my heart at this point. It, at this point, it's uncalled for. It's just, it, <laughs> yeah, this point is just tough. It's horrible a, cruelty. Good uh, story. I was like, where did he lost you? Was it in the amazingness of the characters or was it the expanding overarching Word world, or like the fact that it's another... the only game that have transcended three console generations for a reason. It's like, where did it last you? I don't know. I feel like uh... I need to give it another another <laughs> college try or something. I don't know. Maybe like 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 strap your body to a chair and don't let you go Maybe. until you get to at least uh, another. Ca- I don't know. I don't know what to do. That's it's fine. But honestly. It's it's good, bro. It it's don't feel bad for it because again, oh I don't. I, your, I, I, feel, your I feel a little bad. The is that. undeniable. <laughs> There's just no way you are the gaming alpha and omega. The, the, <laughs> the beginning at the end, except the, when you don't want to reach the end, which is also very hardcore. <laughs> Dear Lord. I feel like I feel like you're 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 saying that at the same time I'm looking at it like oh my failures all my failures have been no, just brought up to the to the surface. No, um, no it's so weird. It's yeah, not the intention, so trust me. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know. Look at all the games, you, dude. Look at fucking hell, <laughs> fucking hell. Let me get to the next piece before I end up just like falling on my knees here. GI Joe goes triple A. With a new game headed by XWB developers, GI Joe. Sir, I'm how done. excited are you? Oh no, hold on! I haven't said the story yet. Sorry. <laughs> Considering this uh, public service announcement, big enough for Flynn, Gunho, and Alpine to host GI Joe, one of the United States' longest-running comic and cartoon series, appears to have finally been on the verge of returning to console video game in a major way. I didn't understand that. Flynn, Gun Ho, and Alpine thing, if it was meant to be a thing. Oh, my um, God. It is. Those okay. are character names. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> what sorry. the hell, bro? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't remember. I, I, dude, I, I like you, Joe. I don't remember. That's hilarious. Sorry. I just, no, I it's, only... fine, it's fine. It's just hilarious <laughs> to me. He goes, I don't know what that any of that means. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> also, for all intents and purposes, I refuse to watch the live the live action ones. I have not watched oh, a single one, you. and I I've refused. Like, actually, like, no, I just, I'm just not gonna. All right, so, so that's don't. why I don't remember names. But okay, yes, 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 yes. Magic: The Gathering creators, Wizards of the uh, Wizards of the Coast, are making a new game in the franchise with XWB Games developers. The first project for a new as yet unnamed AAA studio, the as listed in multiple job uh, job posts on its career page, the company is seeking to fill position uh, at at the development house uh, currently called New Rally Durham Studios. 
for a multi-platform third-person action game set in the G.I. Joe universe. Woo! Uh, Wizard, a division of Hasbro, which also owns the G.I. Joe brand, state the developer is being is being headed by an experience ex by experienced ex staffers from WB Games and other major studios. Though the listing suggests is still recruiting for some senior positions, including lead game designer and art directors. Dude, this is your chance. Come on, man. Career jump. Oh, you can you can be a you can be a lead game designer. Just, yeah, you do I your thing, like man. No technical fucking you skills. Can, for sure. You can be. <laughs> oh, you don't need technical <laughs> skills to be a game programmer. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Evidently, EA feels that way. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's that's obviously a joke and, and, and a bad one at uh, that. So I apologize, and it was by me. <laughs> I take full responsibility for it. <laughs> we appreciate the job of. I fucking appreciate the job of all developers and 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 and. And uh, and programmers of games because oh, for sure, for sure. I mean yeah. they're making the stuff the stuff that we like. I wanted to pick at EA really. So it's just oh, we wanted to pick at EA, yeah. Because no, no, fuck publishers. I'm talking about that. That I'm talking about the workforce. Fuck the the, the fucking CEO, the Bobby Kotick. Like to suck my stamp collection. I don't care. Um. So yeah, man. Uh, that's uh, that's interesting. I mean, that sounds cool. It, 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 WB Games. I mean. People from WB, let's let's call it the the publishing division it was shit, but the talent was undeniable. So if they have people from there making games onto this studio that they're trying to make it like a new AAA studio, like I don't know what that means. I don't you know they have to demonstrate their jobs, right? But yeah, man, it's time to get a cool GI Joe. Um, uh, video game, yeah. uh, and not one based on. Like the movie, <laughs> the, the recent movies. I'm talking about like the just bring the old school, you know, or or and reimagine yes. it. Like who cares? Like just do something cool, like you did with Batman, for example, or something like that, you know. And yet, this would be a new licensed game entering the fray. Just saying. Ooh. Just saying. This is another one. Another I should have left this one for last then. <laughs> you should have, but it's okay. Uh, my next piece, guys. I've completely misplaced. Where the hell is it? Hold on. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Uh, Netflix big foray into games is now underway in earnest, and one of its major first major acquisitions is a darling from the indie space. Uh, Ooh. in a blog post from the official site Night School Studio, announced that it will be bringing its adventure game expertise to the streaming service. Quote. Night School wants to stretch our narrative and design aspirations across distinctive original games with heart. Uh, Netflix gives film, TV, and now game makers an unprecedented canvas to create and deliver uh, excellent entertainment to millions of people. Our explorations in narrative gameplay and Netflix's uh, track record of supporting diverse storytellers was such a natural pairing. It felt like both teams came to the conclusions to the conclusion instinctively uh an angle uh it is natural fit uh night school studios found fame with its game oxen free and after party mm -hmm. two games you, you I like, played, and i yep, yep and i really you did like uh story driven adventures that mesh well with netflix approach oxen free is likewise a supernatural coming of age story which is exactly the kind of story that is apt to play on netflix's audience uh, Netflix first announced that it would be getting into gaming over the summer, tapping for former video game executive Mike Verdu uh, to become the new vice president of the game development. Its mm -hmm. efforts have mainly consisted for more casual games, such as Shooting Hoops, Teeter Up, and Card Blast, uh, which can be accessed via the game's uh, tab in the Netflix app on Android devices. Right now, mm -hmm. I believe this is a service that's only available in Spain, Italy, and Poland, though. So... Obviously, uh, you know, eventually work its way here. Netflix is yeah. mainly experimenting with what works right now, which evidently includes the decision to acquire Night School Studio. For now, Night School says work will continue on Oxenfree 2, Oxen Free 2 uh, which was an, uh, announced earlier this year. Quote, the Netflix team was shown the uh, utmost care for protecting, uh, excuse me, the Netflix team has shown the utmost care for protecting our studio culture and create creative vision well we'll keep making oxen free too and we'll keep cooking up new game worlds 
uh, Oxen Free 2 is available, uh, will be available on ne- uh, Netflix. Netflix, Jesus Christ. Nintendo Switch and PC, sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, not, yeah, yet I Netflix, right? not yet on Netflix. Not yet on Netflix. I don't expect it to be. <laughs> um, but uh, at least it's not yet. But, so this, this is pretty cool. Um, I I always I always feel better when, when independent studios remain independent, but I don't judge them when they say, sure, we can definitely use the financial We'll take package. your money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> why not? Uh, I don't judge them that either. When I think of Super super Giant Games, for instance, Super Giant Games ever gets acquired by anybody, I will cry. That oh, day, I will cry. Hear? No, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even make the joke I'm, because no, it's too I'm gross. Saying, I'm, I'm like, I'm seriously, I absolutely <laughs> love gross. that studio. I absolutely <laughs> love that studio. Uh, I, I think I mentioned this before, and I and I and I want everybody to try uh, to really get on this. Um, no, um, oh my God, what's the name? No clip. No clip mm-hmm. uh, has a uh, thing for Hades. Actually, has a thing for all the games, but the main mm-hmm. thing was a Hades. Um, where he you want to be like a boner? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. I guess that could be too. But, I guess so. No, I mean, it had, when it you watch like a documentary, you can, you can tell. <laughs> it's a video. It's a video series uh, that followed um, the team from mm-hmm. when it from when they were developing from and then releasing it on early access and being released uh, announced and released on uh, the ga- the game awards uh, um... to it finally coming to the switch to it finally coming to everywhere else. And, Ooh, that's you cool, know, and each yeah. episode as it's like probably four or five and they're probably, each episode is like 40 minutes long or something like that, but it's really, really cool. Um, and I don't know, I just watched it all and I really felt like I just kind of got to know the studio and, and, and the team, even though yeah. I'm not even doing anything, I'm just kind of watching it. And, so I'm just really that that's the team that I'm like, please just stay, just, just, just stay, <laughs> you know, independent and, and do whatever you freaking want. Although to be fair, if they get acquired, they're so they good at just money. doing what they want. Yeah. You know what I mean? That I feel like it would, it, I would, I feel like the acquisition would be predicated on, we still need to do whatever we want. Right, and if that's a problem, then no. Which <laughs> yeah. that acquires them, and then yeah. puts them to work on like fucking Call of Duty maps or some shit like that, <laughs> because that's what they will do, you know, when know. they conquer. It's, it's <laughs> when they sad, conquer. Yeah. So the same thing here with uh with uh you know Oxen Free Oxen Free Studio uh not, uh uh fucking Jesus Christ uh nice cool games, um so it's it's a little bit of a bummer to hear that and to know that you know chances are that's that's. That's gonna be whatever they do is more likely mm. gonna get locked away into that Netflix service. Although I have Netflix, it's not like I'm not gonna be a Netflix or something like that. But <laughs> really I'm just saying, I still feel like, uh, a little, a, a little of a, a little bit of a letdown. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, well, uh, oh, I, was gonna, I thought it was my turn, but I guess we're not doing it. We're uh, not doing one year, one me anymore. I mean, you just did two in a row. I could do two in a row. What the heck? I did two in a row. You sure did. What a uh, fucking bastard. Okay, then real quick, I just want to say that, you know what next, next thing uh, is on Netflix? Uh, Extraction 2. That's it. There you go. Nice. You remember Cream Hemsworth's movie? I did. It's yeah. already there? It's getting a sequel. No, man. Oh, it's oh, coming. Okay. Oh, that's my shit. I knew that. Fucking <laughs> good I mean, maybe it wasn't well, now. The, well, the people don't. You know, we're not. This is not. This is not a segment to keep the news to ourselves. You know, <laughs> Fair enough. we share. Fair enough. Yeah, you're That's how right. we show we care. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so to keep it on the Netflix, a train, if you will. Uh, for as much as streaming services love boasting their record-breaking numbers, it's still difficult to accurately gauge exactly how well a popular show performs. Today, which actually was on the 27th, uh, Netflix CEO Ted Sarandos has shared a better set of data on streamers, top movies, TV shows, and uh, oh, top movies and TV shows yet. What the hell? Hold on. Share a better set, a better <laughs> set reading, of data on Kazakh, the streamers. Yeah, yeah, this is fucking this is gibberish. This is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, at Vox Media's uh, code conference, Randall's um, shared two slides that highlighted two different metrics. One that measures the number of counts, tracks the number of users that watch at least two minutes of a show or movie within the last 28 days of release. This is how Netflix has previously shared viewership metrics. The second chart measures total hours spent watching a show or movie 
within the first 28 days. This is not a metric that uh, Netflix has previously shown. Uh, and so I, I'm not going to go into the, the details, and this particular one doesn't really have it. has a lot of links and stuff. But mm. it's pretty cool to see now, because that was the whole deal. It's like, how do you say ratings? How do you see, you know, those movies, uh. you know, that come on a streaming service? Like, you know, based on ticket sales, but how do you know based on, you know, oh, on I'm the sure viewership? streaming? Yeah. Oh, well, that's got to be a way they can keep track of that. Well, there is, but yeah. they're not. They're not sharing it. That's the whole deal. Right. And now oh, that's true. Yeah, they've yeah. got. They've gotten uh, much more. Um, you know, uh, much more. Uh, how do you say? Transparent with these things. Uh, right. Based on the different data uh, that they were presented, you get a few common titles that can be considered Netflix's biggest hits, including Bridgerton, which I did watch, Bird Box, Extraction, hence the reason there's a sequel. Mm-hmm. Uh, other top shows are like The Witcher. Lupin, Money yeah. Heist, and Stranger Things. Uh, these are shows to, uh, Netflix has touted as some of the most successful on the platform, but mm. the additional data helps contextualize the degree of their success. The Spanish crime drama has long been known to be a popular international hit for Netflix, which is why I still say you and Mrs. Uh, uh, Mrs. Dream Twister should be watching um, Money Heist. Uh, but in terms yeah. of hours viewed, it beats shows like Stranger Things, 13 reasons why these are shows that are big that I'm like, wow, it's gonna be, yeah, but it's, it beats it, you know, and of course it's international now it's, it's watched here a lot and then it's watched mm-hmm. all around the world. So, uh, really interesting wow. stuff. I definitely recommend, uh, you check out the, the article, uh, from the Vox media code conference. If you're interested in that stuff, I just kind of found it fascinating. And since I was already talking about Netflix, I figured I'll throw it in. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, I have my Netflix news already, so there you go. I'm going to close with this one, which is kind of a cool story. Uh, Bethesda buys dead Luke voice actor a PS5 so he can play his own game. Yay! Oh, that's that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Bethesda has brought a PS5 for dead loop Jason Killy. Killy? After the voice actor told fans he didn't have a copy of the game or a console to experience it. Um, oh, <laughs> should have got him a PC, but that's fine. Maybe the PC version was too janky, and that's why they went like, oh, get a PS5. It'll run better. <laughs> Just as Deslu was about to launch in a short promo clip on the gamer's official Twitter account, Jason Keeley, the voice actor for, for protagonist Colts, uh, is saying... I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on this video game. If anyone can get me a copy and a PS5, I will appreciate it. <laughs> this made it clear that Kelly didn't own a Deadloop or a PlayStation 5 to play it on. Uh, while a number of fans congratulated congratulated Kelly on his performance of the ga- on in the game, Peter Hines, senior vice president of communications at Deadloop publisher Bethesda, appeared to offer a solution to the voice actor's console-related issues. <laughs> wow. I- I got the quote. I can probably help you f- uh, help you find a PS5 so you can play it. End quote. Hein said in response to the tweet, uh, "You deserve a chance to play as Cult and enjoy your own amazing performance." End quote. Uh, an interview with John John Cut Play has since revealed that Hein stayed true to his word. Keely said, "I made an announcement. It was doing. <laughs> I was doing a bit." and said that I didn't have one. And it turns out, I was just notified by Bethesda that a PS5 was made available and it's going to be shipped to me with the game as well. So I'll be playing the game. I'm super excited. Uh, that's that's kind of cool. That is cool, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and it goes on. But that's the just <laughs> Basically, he gets a, you know, he gets to play. I mean, he, he, he now can play with himself. I mean, I saw. Wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mazel tov is what I have to say to that. Uh, <laughs> uh, my last uh, pieces here, I'm just going to fly through them because they're pretty pretty quick. Uh, well, this one I'm here fire. Is not really that quick. Uh, <laughs> if you haven't heard, the robot, robot apocalypse is coming. And it will start oh, with Amazon, Amazon's is, uh, Astro. The smart home robot on wheels. <laughs> yes. Uh, if you haven't heard, uh, Amazon has announced Astro, a home robot that will cost you an 
a cool grand. Uh, One thousand dollars. I saw that thing, and yeah. uh, is shipping on December third for me. <laughs> oh, sure it is, bro. I had, I literally had no doubt. I was like, oh, this no, is I'm already not getting, I'm not getting. Stop. You say I'm that now. Getting, stop but, it. Yeah, eventually, no. as we get closer, you're gonna be like, yeah, a thousand. I have three of them running around in every room. Be like, honey, you want a dog? She'd be like, oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Okay, I, I got one better how about a robotic dog and that way we don't have to clean or anything like that we just have to charge him oh my god uh, astro is a small household ro- <laughs> yeah. is a small household robot that features a rotating screen that has eyes and can move around with wheels that are attached to its base uh, amazon astro is aimed to appear friendly and animated and can patrol around your house unlike some smart home devices astro is designed to navigate around objects and avoid bumping into things such as pets and stairs thanks to some intelligent motion and on the flip side of that is a, a report <laughs> uh since they've since the announcement of said astro um amazon uh, basically there has been reports that it might not be ready to be roaming around people's houses, according to some new claims. Uh, originally reported by Vice, one source who worked on Astro reportedly called the robot, quote, a disaster not ready for release. End quote. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another developer is alleged to have said that Astro is, quote, terrible and <laughs> noting that the robot is not reliable for accessibility purposes as Astro will, quote, almost certainly throw itself down a flight of stairs. <laughs> I don't doubt it. I mean, <laughs> have you seen how Roombas work? That's probably as intelligent as this <laughs> stupid dog is going to be. Most like. Most but it like. won't even clean your room. You know, it won't yeah. even. It won't even clean. Yeah. <laughs> it just yeah. fall. Yeah. It just uh, falls and breaks. Amazon notes on Astro's store listing that Astro is intelligent, has intelligent motion, meaning it should be able to move around objects with no issue. Uh, this includes avoid bumping into stuff. And yes, it's supposed to include not falling down stairs. The report also <laughs> noted that leaked documents and videos of developers meeting uh, meetings obtained by the outlet show that Astro <laughs> did a lot of surveillance with a reliance on facial recognition systems. Uh, this includes a feature where Astro will follow unrecognized people around the room, <laughs> around the house. <laughs> when a user obtains Astro, part of the setup requires you to enroll your face and voice of everyone in the home so the robot can learn who lives in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'm going to stop reading because it is hilarious as it goes on. But Sir. I will definitely say... It's it's a robot apocalypse. Sir. It's it's happening. It's happening. Uh, as, as, as of right now, I'm sending you uh, actually a video of the robot tests that were conducted at Amazon. Uh, I don't know if you can uh, roll the tape there for yourself. <laughs> and oh uh, uh, yes, the old OCP. Uh, yes. yes. And uh, in the meantime, I will tell you that you know Astro. Smastro. <laughs> I can't do that. Um, Amazon already have uh, a, a flying camera attack helicopter that can literally fly around your house and uh, probably attack burglars if they see them. Uh, but not right now. You know, those those tests have failed, but at least you can record them. As, as yeah, and then submit are, it to the authorities, yes. Yes, exactly, oh, no, exactly. No, no, no. There are literally a a drone, like a mini drone that, that has like its its own base that it that, that it takes off from mm-hmm. with a camera and it makes a horrible sound because of course it's a fucking drone. It's a drone, yeah, I was gonna say this. So fly. it starts flying around the house. Imagine that. And uh, you can program it to survey to, to do surveillance, like if you're out of the house. Uh, you could show it how to, you know, where, where where to fly by literally like grabbing the thing and like walking through it so that it learns the pattern. Uh, or uh, or you could have it. I mean, basically that you can just have a surveillance. What else are you gonna do? It's like 
oh, a burglar jumps in and this piece of p- drone plastic start taking pictures of him. Like, what do you think the burglar is going to do? <laughs> I don't well, know. Swat it like a, like a fly. Yeah, he's going to kick the shit into the corner. That's, that's yeah, always going to happen. I say. <laughs> oh, my God. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm not registering my face on anything. That's not fucking <laughs> happening. Too late um, already. You, you, the, you, you own an Android, so, so that, the, I mean, that happened years ago. It's already there, but I'm not going to purposely do it <laughs> i'm not gonna fucking like <laughs> hand it out and just say and this is my family and this is what my home looks like and then the shit basically <laughs> just surveilling the home the whole time uh, uh no 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 and uh, yet we trust the facebook and all that shit and more the, yeah 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 they could probably put it together a nice wireframe on my house <laughs> Oh, Based on all the images. Dude, I mean, they, yeah. they, they control an election yeah. in 2016. So. I mean, exactly. And 2020. <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> let's, <you know>? right, yeah. <laughs> let's, let's just call it oh, what it is. Let's be real. Let's, yeah, let's, uh, let's call it what it is. Exactly. My goodness. Uh, the last two are definitely rapid fire. And that is, of course, uh, the Game Awards 2021 <gasps> has set their date. It will air on Thursday, December 9th. And... After more than a year of digital only events, the show will be held in person. Oh shit! What? Despite oh, the shit. audience uh, event at the Microsoft Theater in Los Angeles, uh, despite being an audience event, excuse me, the event will of course uh, still be streamed, free, uh, and live, uh, as per always. Free and live. Yeah. Uh, so that's cool, and I'm glad to see that it will be back. And then, of course, finally, the next series in the uh Star Wars uh television series for Disney Plus. Uh the book of or oh, it's not called the book of Boba Fett. It's just called Boba Fett. Boba Fett mm-hmm. uh will premiere actually no I apologize. It is called the Book of Boba Fett will premiere on Disney Plus uh Wednesday, December 29th, just under the wire for its scheduled 2020 re- release. Uh so we'll see if that's even uh, worth it because I still I liked the Mandalorian and but i didn't love it and i feel like a lot of people loved it and i don't know why but maybe i just i don't understand star wars anymore maybe that's what it is i just i don't know <laughs> just not you know, I don't know well sir um i think I, I believe i have the answer to your questions um if you tu- if you turn to the book of boba fett uh chapter 6 verse 7 through 18 he said and behold Disney grab a character that is no longer cool and make a series out of him. That's <laughs> all the chapter. That's all. 7 to 18. That's all he says. The <laughs> every, ch- every word is a chapter. Every word uh, is, a, the, is uh, a verse. The I will say I still feel like Bob, the original Boba Fett was cool. Uh, I think when we got to Jangle Fett, it was like, oh, no, oh, it's yeah. not cool at all. Okay, I got you. I got you. Uh, and then seeing him in the Mandalorian, I was like, okay, he's still the badass that he should be. Uh, and I understand that. Um, I did read the, um, what is it called? The Bounty Hunters uh, novel, which is unfortunately un- non-canon anymore. But um, mm-hmm. but at the time it was, and it was the story the of- reality. Yeah. It was the story of all the Bounty Hunters who were in the room when- um, Oh, fuck is his name? Uh, so, Jesus Darth Christ. Vader. Darth Vader. Yeah, Darth Vader <laughs> is saying, hey, I, you know, we need to get, we need to get, um, you know, we're getting Han Solo, right? That's the whole yeah. deal. That's the whole deal. And so there was a bunch of them in the room. You saw them. One looked like a lizard. Well, one was a robot. was IG-88 and all that. So mm. the book had like six or seven chapters. Each chapter was a story of that particular um, bounty hunter. And then, of course, it ends with Boba Fett. And, of course, Boba Fett, you know, had a, uh, and, of course, at that point, you find out that he did he was able to escape the Sarlacc pit and survive. Uh, so that's how, <clears throat> excuse me. That's how, that's, that's how you rescue a, a mistake that, 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 Oh shit. We killed a character that people loved. Maybe we should, we should be able to squeeze more money is, out of it. Why did they love him? Right. Really think <laughs> about it up until that point. What he has maybe, 15 minutes of screen time in the entire original hey, but trilogy. He looked awesome, though. But he, he, he looked cool. Say, how, is, how, is the, how is the creator supposed to know that those 15 minutes will be enough to create a character? Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, and and, now like, like, and yeah. then he survived. And uh, and uh, here's his costume, Boo Boo Fan. And now, Boo Boo Feet. 
I don't okay. know. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. That's all the news that we have for the moment. Uh, please stand by. We'll be right back with our hot topic. Hot topic. We're back, uh, guys, and it is now time for Hot Topic of the Week. Hot Topic! Hot Topic again, guys. Uh, the return of the licensed games. And uh, we, we've already spoiled one. Uh, actually, uh, our dear old Dream Twister has already brought one up earlier in the show. <laughs> and uh, so we're going to start with that one. But first, just kind of go over what we're looking at doing. We're going to pretty much bring in uh, or mm. list a few games that we know are in the works that we know are your typical licensed uh, games and uh, look to see what we think. Uh, what, what, you know, are they going to deliver what they normally do or are we going to be stuck with the same old crappy, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, just well, crappy, crappy uh, uh, cash the- grab, if you will, you know? Ooh, 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 ooh. I have, I, I have one. I have one. I have one. Um, Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher's Bay. Oh. Oh, you're going backwards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what? To be honest with you, that was it's the only time that I've seen a license uh it, 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 a licensed game. One that probably from from the sound of it at first, like you have no I would say it had no justification to be as fucking awesome as that game ended up being. Uh, so ahead of its time, so technologically like marvelous and crazy. It 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 sounded like aliens made this game. To be honest with you. So do, um, would you would you? So okay. I don't know. Let's look that up. When did that game come? Go ahead. Keep keep that game come actually, Yeah, go, go, go ahead. Look up. So so Chronicles of Riddick, Chronicles of Riddick, uh, Escape from Butcher's Bay. Of course, is based on the uh, on the Chronicles of Riddick uh, um, movies. Uh, well, except that they weren't called Chronicles of Riddick. It was just called you know the first one was Pitch Black, and then they decided to make uh, a a a. a a franchise, IP, a franchise. Yeah. Thank you. That's the way I didn't want to say IP. Uh, a franchise out of uh, out of this character, because I mean, let's face it, it was Vin Diesel. He was a it's a cool character, you know. I you know I I like I personally like that. Most people didn't care much, but I like Riddick. He was uh, he was Riddick. Um, so you would agree that um, I've never played that game. And I think it was only available on Xbox 360, right? You know, if I right uh, first, yeah. Then they remat they remastered it and it came out everywhere. But yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So it couldn't have been the 360 because the original game came out in 2004. No. So that was actually the I was Xbox OG Xbox. Damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. That the game Vendy had no games. business Old looking as good Vendy. as it did. Yeah. With the lighting of that game, had no business. Every character had a different face. So every character that you that you encounter was a different person or a different creative face. Um and it was all, all it all took place on this prison, this this uh, of course futuristic, you know, mega high security pris, uh, prison where you're trying to escape from it, you know, from Butcher's Bay. Uh you know, I think I think the the I I, I think I want to say the pitch pitch black the the movie kind of like addresses that because at the at the beginning of during that movie he is a prisoner he is being taken you know uh he's being transported basically anyway the the thing is that this game was was based on the character but not directly based on the on the movies as far as it being like a a, a retelling of pitch black or uh, or the next Riddick, uh, you know, Chronicles of Riddick, or anything like that. It was like its own, its own thing, headed up by Tygon Studios, who, who is actually a, um, a gaming studio that uh, Vin Diesel himself heads. Um, I don't know what his position is. Uh, I know that it still Consultant. exists. Consultant. No, probably <laughs> more than that. He's probably like a CEO or, or something. I don't know. 
uh, the thing is that that studio still exists, by the way. Um, they were responsible <laughs> for the infamous uh, making of uh, that recent Fast and the Furious title that came out. Yeah, I was gonna say, which I was like, yeah. horrid. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. it's like. What is this? Like Tygon Studios, a, a, a company renowned for making such a great game, make this. Anyway, on the context of our topic, the reason I bring this up is because this is a perfect example of a right way of approaching a, a you know, like what you will think is an esta- like an established licensed movie a license. franchise in this case. Yeah, a, a license. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, it, but it, it, doing... It, I'm sorry? No, no. I was going to say the way of approaching. Uh, 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 how would you, how would you take that license and create a, you know, an original work? Maybe. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, really no it, to, to, it totally that that was when you, you when you play the game. First of all, it's a game unlike any other game game that was released because it was not necessarily it was in the style of a first person shooter you would think but it was not that like it, you, at some point in the game you did grab a weapon but you weren't you know, like 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 um, ammo was scarce so it's not like you could just like you know destroy fools like halo style right um most of it it had melee co- it has really good melee first person melee combat i remember that 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 melee combat was fantastic and it had elements of stealth that were interesting and fun, and it played with shadows on an on, on a time that that was like very expensive to do, uh, expensive resource wise. I mean, yeah. on 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 games. So seeing all that put together in such a masterful way was like, ah, oh, they made something entirely original out of this, and and, and unexpected. So would you um, would you? Would you th- would you agree that that would have been the first, uh, I don't know, the first step in the right direction for license mm-hmm. games? Because I feel like I remember mm-hmm. reading an article or re or t- or something that we had that that had seen where it was, you know, it's the license game that that could. You know, or something like that. It's like it's that license mm-hmm. game that could. Yeah. Where every other license game up to that point was clearly just you know some quick things that were put together. Here's a game, blah 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 blah, and you yeah, know, this just ship do it. a quick yeah quick cash thing, grab, and you ship it, Power whatever. Rangers game. So would you on, think that, yeah, yeah. Would you think that that was the first one? Because I always I always thought that, but I had never played um, uh, Escape from Butcher Bay. But I always thought that one of the major ones pointing in the right direction was. Uh, Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham Asylum. Um, oh, yeah, where it was okay. We're getting a really well crafted, um, uh, licensed game for Batman. Mm-hmm. Uh, but that was you know it was like, but early on it was like, I don't know, is this a licensed game? We'll see. You never <laughs> know. Blah, blah. You know, is it a lot of doubters and naysayers? So I would think now that you mentioned it, though, I would say back in 2004 when this game was released like so that's probably the first step in the right direction and then follow the new ones arkham asylum and just say yep we're we're now paving the road to the to the future where you know you know you have some some developers and publishers mostly because they're the ones with money who figure Mm -hmm. out you know we're going to do this we need to do it right so that we have something special you're going to spend our budget just grab it yeah Let's not just spend it on the on, on on the license and and not leave anything for the actual development of the game. Uh, I would say of the of of the era of you know from let's call it from uh, I forgot what what is the name. That's the seventh generation. Is that it? The three sixty generation. I don't even remember. Anyway, the three sixty generation and and PS three and PS. Yeah, PS3 forward. Uh, you know, uh, oh, no, sorry, 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 my bad. Sorry, uh, the, the not the 360. Sorry, the Xbox and PlayStation Two, Two. era forward. Yeah, uh, because let's not forget we had some licensed games that were good. You know, back when games were a little bit more. Uh, simple to uh, to 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 program, yeah. uh, you know, with 16-bit era and 
eight bit era and all that, you know, those those existed, you know. But right when you started, you know, introducing like higher budgets because game now require a 3D programmer and uh, someone making the textures and someone making assets and you know shit like that. That got ex- you know that got expensive and of course uh, a lot of companies were just content with just grabbing a, a, an IP that was very hot at that time and just throwing some piece of garbage and that's how this type of games ended up having that 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 uh, infamy of being oh it's a licensed game so yeah. it doesn't really matter you know except well, when you get the really good ones that came in somewhere in between I never played it uh-huh. the the Wolverine game where. He, I know I remember there was some physics where he gets hit and his body starts to peel away, but then heals slowly. And, and it was, I don't know what it was called. Oh, but it was, it, you remember that game? It was, yeah, uh, do, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it was another one that also sh- sh- like surprised some folks, kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, wasn't the greatest of games, but uh, I, I still feel that it was in that range, within that range. But the 2004, 2009, I feel like that's where that game came in. So it, it was, yeah. it was sort of building the, the blocks towards what yeah. we have now. And I think right now what we have is sort of a, sort of a licensed game uh, renaissance, if you will. You know what I mean? And um, what well, do you I think it's a, a lot of them coming? You know what I mean? We, we do have a lot of them coming, but do you think that we should still be on that worry state where it's like, mm, I don't know. We, we probably want to check reviews on this one because it's a licensed game. Like, is that I do. still a valid thing to you? I, I think so. Yeah. And that's why I kind of wanted to go through a few of these. And you can tell me um, if you okay. agree. And I, I will say the ones that I am concerned about and the other ones that I'm not concerned about. Uh, actually, I wanted to start with the one you just mentioned today, and that's the G.I. Joe game um, mm-hmm. that's coming from the publisher Wizards of the Coast, I believe the name is. And it's a developer that's new. They have not done anything. Um Prior to, prior to this, and I mean, with, with those other coast, it's uh, I mean, they're they're the Magic Gathering handling yeah, people, say, but they do, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's them with X people from XWB uh, games that are forming this new studio. We don't even know what the new studio. The, the new studio doesn't doesn't have a name. It does, you know. So it was uh, something new, something. No, that that was that was like a play. That was that was two cities. <laughs> you know, that, oh, okay. <laughs> that was just the name of two cities, oh. but it was not. Um, uh also isn't a game isn't there a game called name of two cities anyway um <laughs> the 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 yeah the, the studio itself it it's still on name it's very you know? yeah it's very it's so new they don't have a game so yeah. i mean they don't have a game and a name they don't have a game <laughs> they don't have a name i mean they have the, <laughs> the 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 obviously they're doing the they're the ones who are have called out to be doing it so yeah, this is probably one of the, the bigger question mark uh-huh. Because sure, they do have the talent. Is this w- this is WB, right? So WB, mm-hmm. um, you know, a lot of people. It was WB confused. games, which made yeah, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'd be confused when you think WB. So a lot of just kind of jump to some of the some of the other developers that WB has published for, but mm-hmm. not really WB. You know, right? Um, so obviously some ex uh, folks out of there. I think this is one of the question marks, not, not concern, just a question mark. Uh, one, it's very early. You know, we don't really know anything. The publisher yeah. wizard of, of the coast has published many of the, as you mentioned, the magic of the gathering. Um, and so it's like, okay, this will be their first foray into some really triple a stuff. If that's what they're looking uh, to do. So that's what they're targeting. That's, that's what they yeah. say they're targeting. Yeah, exactly. So it's a question mark. And it's a valid one. I think it's mm-hmm. important to say. So not that I think it's going to be bad because I have no clue, right? We have it's just so little information. Right. All we have is who we know we're going to be working on it and the publisher who, and we can see what they've done. But, you know, yeah. Um, another one that could be a concern. Uh, maybe you've heard of this one, uh, a game coming in 2023. <laughs> so oh. it's, we're, we're a ways away, but it is RoboCop. To get concerned. I'm yeah. sorry. RoboCop Rogue City. Uh, which was announced a first person Ooh. shooter uh, from the developer mm. who did Terminator Resistance. Uh, that okay. developer, yeah, that developer is, well, the publisher is Netcom and the developer is, let me grab their name here. I thought I had it up. Oh, Tayon, T E Y O N. 
Um, they did Terminator Resistance and Rambo the video game. <laughs> so, Ooh, yes. Never mind. I think I think we can safely like yes. discard that one as uh, this is probably going to be just uh, cash grab. And I'm, I'm sorry that it's it's not meant as direct disrespect to the developers or anything like that. It's just your pedigree doesn't show that. It doesn't. It doesn't instill confidence. Let's say. Yeah, exactly. And doesn't mean doesn't mean they don't. It doesn't mean they won't surprise the shit out of us, right? No, like, exactly. They just exactly. out of nowhere with something special. Uh, I actually awesome. own Terminator Resistance, believe it or not. And how in the <laughs> world do you do? It was like on the deepest of sales, bro. <laughs> it was like, and then someone. The, the no, no. It was like. No, I heard that I game is not like four total shit. Like, yeah, know? exactly. And that was the thing. They were like. You know, a lot of people think with it, but this is actually this. And then so and then yeah. I was like, really? And then I saw it was like three bucks, three, four bucks. I was like, well, fuck it. It's three, four bucks. Shit. I could <laughs> lose that in my pocket by accident. You know, it's like, I could <laughs> do that. And um, yeah, it's 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 okay. It's it's not it's not the greatest of uh, of things. No, um, it's like, it's it's yeah. not it's it's not Rambo. No, that it's not Rambo. Shit, no, no, no. Man. Rambo was absolute tar. <laughs> <laughs> trash you know what i mean it's just just <laughs> disgusting but um so like there it, you have like that, that's, your, that's, yeah. your, that's your floor and your ceiling right that's yeah. what, you look at you look at robocop uh, rogue city you have the floor which is rambo <laughs> and the ceiling which is the uh terminator resistance like well <laughs> when you look at it like that way you're like uh, you know you got much going on there. You know, no. again they could shock us and and put something out there that's Spectacular. We, we I will yeah. definitely wait for reviews on that one, but I wouldn't even actively search for them. Like it wouldn't be on my radar unless Agreed. suddenly there were like reports out there. Oh, Agree. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and just oh man, you have no idea what it. So so. Oh, give me a second. Uh, Good night, baby. Uh, so yeah, you ne- you have no idea. Sorry, guys. That was we, my we apologize uh, uh, to the uh, audience uh, for that uh, on call. Um, public display of, of affection. Yes, exactly. Yes. Um, <laughs> PDA. A little bit of PDA. You have to understand. <laughs> it's it's one thirty. So any wife that allows <laughs> that allows uh, their man to to podcast until one thirty in the morning, it's the serve or set affection. It's just, yes, it's definitely. It's, it's absolutely awesome. and yes. Also the interruption. It's the, I say care, you do care no of your what. wives yeah. and vice versa. Uh, wives uh, uh, and mix and match whichever way you want anyway <laughs> uh so yeah so so th- that's a, that's another big question mark um that's another big question mark. Yeah, yeah definitely yeah uh and we have another one here and of course this is from nickelodeon and chances Ooh. are this is going to be pretty decent of course we're talking about teenage teenage mutant ninja turtles shredders revenge uh which we did see uh earlier we didn't see any real uh, gameplay, but we kind of already know where they go. Well, actually, we did see gameplay. I take that back. It's uh, it looks like the old school um, uh, coin op. Ooh, there's something you haven't heard for a while. Oh. Coin operated a uh, uh, game, and this is a new chapter. Uh, so and this is, of course, by Tribute Studios, who has done good stuff. Uh, Tribute has done pretty decent uh, stuff. I don't know if you, let me get there. Pedigree up. Yeah, because I don't name. recall that. I don't. I don't. I don't the know name Mercenary are. Kings. Remember, we used to pay Mercenary Kings. No. Oh my God! You don't remember the the three times that we played because it wasn't very really long. <laughs> but Mercenary <laughs> Kings, where 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 it was almost it was almost like um it was like a side scrolling uh contra type thing. Was it side scrolling or top down or no side scrolling? Is it side scrolling? And we we always flew in the chopper. And we got, and we always laugh because whatever reason, it's a, it's a, it's an eight bit or sixteen bit game, but they had to add boobies to the girl who, who who's as she's flying. You can see the, you know, what would be boobies kind of going up and down. And I was like, wow, that, that was definitely unnecessary, but uh, sure, why not? I don't, I need to play this now. We I played it, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like, Look up Mercenary Kings, bro. It does and sound, you'll see. It, 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 <laughs> I'm familiar. I'm not gonna lie. It does sound familiar. Yeah, yeah. So we played uh, that. Um, that's actually the only thing that they've made that we've played. Um, I don't have anything else to go by, but based on Mercenary Kings, that was a pretty cool game. And you know, Ninja Turtles, it's clearly they're going for that coin op. So I think this is I think this is gonna be a win. 
You know what I mean? If you if yeah. you're down for that, you know that 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 beat em up, right? Because that's what it is. It's just a fucking beat em up. Yeah, those. I mean, some sometimes those are those are fun. Yeah, I bought no the Streets of Rage four, and uh, you know what? I had a hell of a great time with it. So yeah, hell yeah, give me some more of those. I agree. I agree. Um, yeah, and I need I need to get back. I need to go back uh, to Streets of Rage uh, four. Yeah, um, man. I should I try get into that. Yeah, they improved uh, on it. And they have more characters anyway. Do they? Oh, okay. I'll have to look into that. Um, so here's an, here's one where the question mark comes back. <laughs> the, yeah. me, uh, the question mark rears its ugly head. Uh, yeah, oh. yeah. Uh, the Evil Dead, the game. Um, yes. That's not fair, though. Isn't Evil Dead a game originally that was made into like a franchise? That now they're making a game of. Is it? I didn't. I didn't know it originated from. I have to look this up. I, could, I, thought, I mean, I, could, I was going I by the by the films. I, I thought the films I were the wrong. original. Thing. I don't know. It just it sounds like. I mean, let's be real. The evil. The the evil. What's it called again? The evil Dead. The the evil Dead. Nineteen eighty one film is. It came out nineteen eighty one. Okay, uh, I was gonna say it sounds such like such a game <laughs> title. It's like so. <laughs> I wouldn't I be surprised. <laughs> So I'm actually I'm about to say something I rarely say because I know the answer is always no. <laughs> but uh, have I so seen? you haven't actually seen the Evil Dead movie, have you? <laughs> I probably haven't, but this one I have questions because I have watched some zombie movies from the old eras, but I don't remember them by name. So this is not a zombie not movie. I don't so you're that's already the one I'm talking about, so no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is not a zombie movie. <laughs> this go. is a uh this is a what is evil dead? <laughs> I don't really think about it like, how do i even explain what evil dead? it is a supernatural horror film it has it has nothing to do with uh zombies okay, so it's not although zombies. there are some dead people who come around but it's not about zombies well i would um, imagine by the name of it yeah exactly uh only i'll be ups- upset <laughs> yeah <laughs> and it's an time. 80s film right so it's back in the day um you know back in the day 80s horror you really think about it. Uh, I mean, done by base, director base. Sam Raimi, who's done uh, a bunch of stuff. And um, <laughs> he, uh, so anyway, that's where the, the, the property uh, comes from. 1981 film. There was Evil Dead 2. And then there was Army of Darkness was a, was a third one, which is the, the whatever. I think and, I've seen Army of Darkness. Anyway, go ahead. Okay. Okay. Well, that, that, that makes sense. And um, so anyway, that's that's what the, the base is on. Now, this is a multiplayer experience that when you look at it, it looks like Friday the Thirteenth game that that recently came out. If you remember that, really, uh, what do they call it? Asymmetric uh, multiplayer, the where player. it's one person versus several, whatever. Uh, yeah. That's what it looks like. Um, and let me see what the developer. What is the name of the developer here? Come on now, it's not coming up. But um, it is Saber Interactive. That's the uh, the Saber people behind okay. it. Uh, Lion Gate Games, also MGM Studios, obviously because these are all connected to the uh, to the film as well, the stars franchise, and all yeah. that. Um, this is a question mark because I've seen the trailer and it looks like Friday the Thirteenth. You know what I mean? Maybe a little better than Friday the Thirteenth because Friday the Thirteenth was mm-hmm. obviously had its had its issues. And so, and there lies the thing where it's like, well, it's a question mark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? In the end, when you look, it's like well, I don't know if it's gonna be any good whatsoever. Uh, but it does look good. If you check out a trailer real quick, you can kind of see the gameplay, but it looks very similar again to, to Friday the 13th. Um, you're in an area, you you need to survive, take people out almost a little bit of, uh, of, uh, what do you call it? Um, Oh, fucking uh, PUBG. What the fuck is that shit called? Fucking oh, uh, like uh, like a battle royale. Battle royale, like almost like a battle royale where you're trying to survive. Oh, not only the folks, but also the the evil, if you will. <laughs> evil. Um, yeah. So that is definitely so, a question mark. I think. So okay, uh, okay, okay. So see, I'm not that hot on that because it's not like i it's probably something that's an enjoyable experience for uh, for a lot of folks but it's not the type of game that attract me so asymmetric multiplayer cuz it's multiplayer I, I need to have a story i'm a single I, i'm a i'm a single player kind of guy you know hey, hey. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, the whole deal is if you haven't, it, the story is in the films. And this game yeah. is literally made for those who love the Evil Dead series. Exactly. I feel like That's this really is for those fans. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. If you don't have any interest in any of this shit, then it's going to be like, well, this wasn't <laughs> made for you. When we come down to it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. The character, the main character's name is Ash, and he is voiced uh, and played by. Oh gosh, you know him because we've seen him in a bunch of fucking movies, but now I can't find his fucking name. But it doesn't matter. Um, so, <laughs> Some do. Yeah, yeah, you'll you'll know him by by face when you see him. But anyway, the point is, big question mark on there. So, all yeah. right, so we're coming down to the last few here, and what we have are some of the bigger. Uh, names that I want to make sure we have uh, we, we we talk about. Uh, and first and foremost, let's get the obvious out of the way. Mm. Spider Man Two, Wolverine. Holy shit! Okay, yeah. we know who's doing this. Insomniac Games. Yeah. Uh, I think Insomniac has earned the cred to say. I don't think I'm worried about those two games. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wouldn't either. Yeah. yeah. After the, I mean the. And not only with just Spider Spider Man is the latest example of what they're capable of, but other previous games have shown that they have a pre they know how to make a a good formula, even if it's a a, a familiar formula and make it fun. And my God, the traversal on fucking Spider Man was like the highlight the of, of of it, you know. Absolutely, so yeah. so uh. Hearing, to be honest with you, one of the most exciting things to hear was the fact that they are handling Wolverine. You kind of want to see them handling all the Marvel stuff, right? To the point where where you hear someone else make a game. uh, To me, it's, I mean, not that they should, because that will be like spreading them too thin. and, And I get that. I'm just saying, when I hear like fucking Square Enix handling the events, I'm like, oh, really? Like, come on. Like I was hoping that a game was gonna end up being good, and it just end up being an exploitative piece of shit. Oh, so God, it's like, it's like, it's like at that ridiculous. point, that's what I, that that that's what I'm saying. When 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 I when I see you're right, I see what you're saying. It's like if 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 you're going to do it, I would want a studio like Insomniac to handle it. Yeah, every time, right? Because they bring their 100 percent, 110 percent each time doesn't matter what it is um my only my only i guess my only concern is and this is a concern with many games if you really think about it many licensed games is when it's a licensed game it's already an existing property you're not really creating anything from scratch you're just formulating a story for characters and worlds that already exist uh not that there's nothing hard about that because you know obviously you still have to, you're still starting to scratch with a story but the rest of the world is kind of already created for you and in many ways with insomniac i mean i mean just think about insomniac they're going to be doing spider-man 2 wolverine we are well into 2023 maybe even 2024 and they're just doing licensed stuff which again could be excellent but i'm always going to be on the side of something new and original and what are they giving up to do these things again they could be wanting to do these things so if they want to do them that's fine that means there's a desire behind it and they're going to have that passion to make it but like i look at the game that that obviously a lot of or every uh playstation owner um missed out on which was sunset overdrive where was one of the most original things and was apparently pretty excellent but we never got and it's like well how awesome would it be if they can just bring something original like that again you know instead of making these things the problem is that something original like that for that house will probably won't make as much money which yes but it isn't about money I mean, it's it's my money mean, for them. It is for <laughs> yeah, Sony. Yeah, yeah. It, it, is it is money for them for sure. It is definitely for uh, Sony, yeah. which they're gonna. That, that's what they're gonna ca- like. Forget it. They did the perfect Spider-Man. Se jodieron. They are the Marvel house now. <laughs> oh, I mean, oh, yeah, Sony's concerned, yeah. yeah. and yeah. Marvel's concerned. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, yeah. They will have to be 
they will have to become the level of, and I'm not saying this can't happen. Obviously it can, but they will have to be uh, a level of a naughty dog to where they might as well like fucking naughty dog owns. <laughs> it's almost like naughty dog owns Sony instead of the other way around. Right. Uh, and what I mean by that is, I mean it in the sense they of can do whatever the fuck naughty they dog, want. Yeah. exactly. They mm-hmm. can work on whatever project they want. And Sony's going to be like, okay, a hundred percent. Uh, I feel like uh, you know, in, in, in Sony has demonstrated that they definitely have the chop. They they probably will green lead them if 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 asked nicely. But I bet Sony will at least have a resort of. You sure you don't want to work on? A, you know, we have an idea for a vision <laughs> game. Listen, bro, it's like you know, oh, God. try to try to. And it's probably be excellent. Me. That's the sad part. Is it will probably be the most excellent vision game ever. <laughs> and I'm also, still like, yeah, but. God, they, they could have something original. <laughs> no, but there's not. They just think, there's nothing wrong with having with working no, on, no, on, no, on, 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 on on an IP not like that because it's like, well, you were the house that made the really amazing Spider-Man game. Um, not to be confused with the Amazing Spider-Man, a game that was released probably somewhere, probably a, oh. uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> uh, Activision, I think it was. Anyway, no, uh, I think yes. I like. I wouldn't want. Like at the end of the day, I don't want uh, them to just be the house of nothing but Spider-Man games, right? Because at some point we're gonna get tired of that. But For sure. it's still it's still early. They I could still take it a is. trilogy of Spider-Man. Uh, the hearing Wolverine and, and knowing that they're taking care of it gives me like great excitement. Uh, absolutely, um, I'm not. Gonna I play. And then here's the here's the as as a Wolverine fan over here. Uh, uh, when you see the Wolverine that they're showing, they're not showing Wolverine. No, they're showing they're Logan. showing Logan. They're showing yeah. Patch. I don't know if you know Patch, but Patch is like almost like a persona that he had when he was never dressed as Wolverine and sometimes mm-hmm. wore an eye patch. You know what I mean? And and mm-hmm. it's like, yes, yes, that's the <laughs> fucking Wolverine I want. Fuck the X Men. Just give me the Wolverine. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. And so. Yeah, not only did they choose or was handed, who knows? I mean, it could be that they were handed this and say, hey, we, we would like you to do this. and uh, Or maybe they chose it. You know, it's they, I still feel like they have some clout. Just look, at their, just look at their most recent history. I feel that they have some pull when they are knocking it out of the park. When you look at the most recent Ratchet and Clank, which I loved, and I didn't even like the other one, the remake of the original, uh, <laughs> and and um and the in the you know and Spider Man, uh, uh, Miles Morales, and Spider Man, and and everything else, and it's just like these guys are 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 special. This is a special fucking team, you know what I mean? And so I like to think that the team was like, well. If there was one, like it was, it was, it's like, I would like to, this is, this is my dream as to what happened. <laughs> they were handed Spider-Man and said, we'd like you to do this. We'd like to collaborate. We'll fund it. You, you create it, whatever. Uh, and then because it was received so well, they, they went ahead and did uh Miles Morales, which became whatever it is and all that. And then someone in Sonic was like, so since we're here, <laughs> uh, there's a lot of us here on the team who are fans of a particular car X men. And would it be <laughs> possible for us to do something? You know what I'm saying? I would love yeah. to hear that the desire came from the team. And then, and then of course, you know, Sony's like, well, Hey, let's find out. Let's talk to Marvel. And Marvel's like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Do what you want with the character. And then suddenly becomes this dude, that can only mean, awesomeness right because when it becomes a desire to to do that uh you know if it's coming from the group saying you know i'm glad we worked on spider-man i love spider-man he's a great character but this one character i feel like we 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 can do something special for if, if you're okay with us doing it uh and if that's how it was done then yes give me that fucking Wolverine, you know what then i mean because yes. i know that that's coming from love right that's coming from someone who appreciates the character and wants to do something special for it when you get handed it when you don't really want it, that's where the problem problem lies. You know, not that they won't yeah. do one hundred ten percent because I feel like their worth work ethics will will dictate that regardless. Um, but special 
things come from when it's when it's a, an internal desire to work on that. So that's my hope. And I, I I'm just I know we're going off a tangent here, but I don't feel like hope. they. I, I don't I I don't feel that they're just being put to work. I mean, I I honestly I I don't know. It just the yeah, yeah, everything sure. that we're they have shown, the, everything that they delivered so far has seemed genuine. And who knows? Maybe maybe it is the thing where where they have already demonstrated like okay you know obviously we can you know we we're not having it in us anymore to just continue working on these things uh let us do something else and sort of be like yeah fine just show us show us what you show you show us what you guys have because by that time it's gonna be like oh a new ip from insomniac oh that's gonna be good yeah there's no there's not gonna be any be doubt special, yeah yeah um so keeping on the marvel kick um the two new ones that we know about actually one that's actually pretty close marvel guardians of the galaxy uh Mm -hmm. being developed by square enix because they're so good at marvel games um but uh anyway uh it's actually getting fairly decent previews uh what do you think sir what do you think what do you think the the chances are the first this is not a this is not a uh a gas game, so we—that's that's a plus. That's a plus right automatically. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. That by itself, yeah. yeah. Because I feel like that's that's where they that's where the Avengers fucked it up. They had oh, a good idea, absolutely. and somewhere along the line, someone came and it's for probably some Square Enix. Hey guys, you know what you should do? You should destiny it, <laughs> and. And and then and and the developers they literally were like, said that too. Do we have it. to? Yeah. And then do we have to be like, uh, do you like work? And they're like, okay, fine. And when you play that game, I mean, that's, that's from the previous. That's what you see. You notice very, uh, very well made single player sections interposed with like garbage gas. You know, yeah. Um, yeah, sure. The the nobody care for nobody what well, probably the worst loot system you have ever seen on any game ever and uh yeah yeah that's why the first time i heard oh uh a game by square enix another marvel game at first i was skeptical like oh, okay here we go and then it was like uh and it's gonna be well, they didn't demonstrate that they could pull it off. So yeah, I yeah, have yeah. my doubt. Uh, watching more and more uh, lately, uh, I, I'm leaning more positive. Also, I've seen the, the good previews. And uh, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I, I am interested if if it ends up. I still away for reviews to me. Yeah, me too. Me too. But uh, I've won that. Like I'm, that one, I, I do... I'm hoping for it to be good because it seems like it has a fun story and and the the, the game. The writing seems to be pretty good. And right, I, right. I feel right. like I feel like when it comes to this uh, this group of heroes, which are you know known to be assholes, right? Because that's the whole deal. That was that was the the selling point of the, of the of the characters in the movies and everything. And it was like there's just a bunch of assholes who <laughs> you know who who have no idea what they're doing half the time, and so. <laughs> to see them here and obviously to be a little bit more, I don't want to say cleaned up, but at least a little bit more uh, straight laced, if you will. Um, <laughs> but still humorous, still where I chuckle and sometimes even laugh when I see what's going on. I'm like, oh, damn. Uh, yeah. You know, and I feel like, you know, it's a shame and I get it. You can't get the the likeness because you have to pay for the likeness if you get that mm. far. And I get you can't get that. And it's a shame because that's the thing that's missing you know i think that's that's the one point of it where i'm like oh we know who who and yes yes the comic books have existed for a long time i was never a reader of those comics yeah i know you Mm. weren't many weren't many uh folks first foray into the garden of the galaxy were those films so to see a play by a bunch of other people is it's a little jarring um but that said as you watch these trailers, you quickly just kind of buy in, you know what I mean? And I feel like I'm hope mm. I'm very hopeful for this one. This comes out October 26th yeah. and it is definitely, this one's right around the corner. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely one that I have my finger on the button, but I have not pushed it yet. But I feel like the moment I hear good, good stuff, 
I think I'm just going to jump on that bad boy. I, I, I'm i the same way. I have, like, the last thing I saw was trailer for uh, the PC version of it with the PC specific specific uh, features of it. And I was mm-hmm. like, okay, you're, you're speaking my language. <laughs> you, language. You, you, <laughs> you don't understand. It seems like you don't understand what a port is. And I mean, because they're talking about the DLS, the DLSR, the DLS, is that what it is? I don't even know. The, the thing that basically uh, ma- uh, makes your frame rate be even better by okay. using a by using um, uh, AI uh, without compromising on if done well, it doesn't compromise on the picture quality. So that in itself sounds amazing because that sounds that the game's probably going to be incredibly uh, scalable and it's going to run uh, in a, a lot of uh, different rigs. So I'm excited. I'm excited uh, to hear that. But I just need to know that the gameplay itself is good. You know what? I, I would say it doesn't even need to be a 10 or a 9. If you give me a solid 8, that, that's a buy for me. Yeah. I like, yeah I'm, okay I'm the same there. way. I'm the same way. I was like, I'm actually more expecting an 8. Uh, and with yeah. an 8, I will be yeah. happy. Like, okay. All right. I'm, I'm in. I'm in. Um, yeah. I keeping agree. again on the Marvel kick. Um, let's move it over to a little that's bit. That's the hot license. So. It's the, the, most, the hottest license of all. Um, <laughs> It is another one uh, over by Firaxis Studios, Midnight Suns. Uh, oh, yes. This is one where I am extremely curious, but still, this one here has a bigger question mark uh, than, than Garden of the Galaxy, because I just don't know. The card system is what's throwing me off. There's a, oh, it true, is a, yeah. Is a, it is a, a turn-based, uh, turn-based uh, uh, battle. Uh, when it comes to it's very similar to XCOM and all that, but there is a card based system that is a little randomish, where in the sense that mm-hmm. you know you have your superheroes and and you want to play a particular move, but guess what? You can't because you don't have the fucking card to do it. So <laughs> it's like, well, how punishing is that? And we all know that for, <laughs> for Axis turns up the punishment, <laughs> it's it can the- be punishing. Yes. So yeah. So it's I all don't, in the cards. Yeah, exactly. And so <laughs> I, it's funny because they're still saying that it's not, you know, and I get why they won't. It is a Marvel game. And for a Marvel game, you gotta, you want to have a bigger audience as opposed to XCOM, for instance. So you need, you know, a little more accessible and not that I need accessible, but I just need to know what, what for me, it's just a card thing that just completely throws yeah. me off. And I have seen the videos where I'm just like, I get it. And and for whatever reason, they don't just play the battle out. You know what I mean? They just like do it and they talk about it and they pause it. And it's like, no, 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 stop. I just need you to play the battle. I just need to see what a full battle looks like. You yeah. know what I mean? And they haven't really shown that yet. So it's, it's to me, it's still a little question mark. Where are you on this one, sir? I'm, I'm uh, Fer- Ferox is my good games. Uh, oh, yeah, even yeah. the ones that I have dislike, <laughs> I still consider a uh, good game. I did not like, the difficulty spike of of XCOM 2. Uh, mm-hmm. However, I do recognize it as an excellent title. And uh, they know how to do strategy. I feel like if they're trying this card thing, I, I don't think it's going to be so heavily into the cards where it's just going to be a card game. I, I think that the cards is just like a, like you said, maybe a, a random element, which, hey, in the battle there are random elements happening. It's just that you are seeing them. You are seeing the, 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 the rolls of the dice, so to speak, or the, or the, the draws of the cards, so to mm-hmm. speak in a way. Yeah. So, so I think they can make it. I think they just don't want to do another X come, but with <laughs> X come with X-Men, me. X-Com yeah. with, uh, with Avengers, you know, although X one with X-Men. Um, but the, so I, I put a little bit more trust. I feel like I I I am a little bit more positive on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will probably trust them enough to. I, I'm not saying uh, the only reason I wouldn't jump day one on it is just the genre itself doesn't necessarily. It's not necessarily the one that calls me like immediately. Like yes, I had an incredible amount of fun with 
the first with X with the f- first XCOM, or not the first XCOM, but the the first XCOM new of the newer XCOM games, let's yeah, call yeah. them. Uh, like I had a ton of fun with that, but still, that was not like the primary genre that I would jump into if I hear an announcement. I agree. Uh, I agree. But but yeah. but I, I'll give him a little bit more credit. All right. Uh, so that's those are the Marvel ones we have. Let's jump over to DC. Oh, oh yes. finally getting a good Superman. You know, that's never gonna happen. Never gonna happen. There's no that. way to make a, a, a proper Superman game, is there? Well, there may be if we look at the trailer for the upcoming Rocksteady game, uh Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Um, this is obviously a, a first off, it's Rocksteady. And we, when it comes to Rocksteady, yes, I I wasn't a big fan of Arkham Knight, but it wasn't because it wasn't well made. It was because there was a lot of focus on a particular gameplay element that I didn't really care for. Right. Um, and I think they learned from that. I think I think that was a huge cry out of it. They look backwards and go, okay, so you had Arkham City, you had Arkham Asylum. Those are excellent games. Um, so I feel confident that they're going to deliver on something special um and you are of course playing the role of the suicide squad characters and if you saw the trailer you understand that superman is probably the villain here <laughs> you know what <laughs> I mean? uh which really makes things interesting so where are you on this one sir what's your, what's your temperature check on the uh, suicide squad kill the justice league and try to keep the Justice League, uh, excuse me, the Suicide Squad film away from, <laughs> from, uh, no, I, from I, anything yes. that, uh... yeah, absolutely, absolutely, yes, yes. Um, but I, but at the same time, I, I haven't seen enough of it, or let's say what I saw, we haven't seen, seen enough play. to, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, no right, 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 and the announcement of it, like you, like you tell me, unfortunately, as much as I would like to keep it as far away, at, you know, from the properties of the the the, the movies, but it's hard to disassociate them right now. So if you ask me about how I feel, yeah, I, hey, anything that has a Superman playing uh, a villain, a villain, yeah, I wouldn't call it an e- evil because Superman's not evil, at least not the proper Superman. I mean, he has proper reasons to implement Iron Fist uh, rule over the over the world as as he pro as he should all right, but that said, um, that said, I, uh, I the rest of it is the part that has me a little iffy. I mean, it's here's the thing. I'm to I'm torn because by the same token, Rocksteady, fucking fantastic studio. It is also. It is. Yes, but also having done squat in a really long time, I don't even know if I can expect the same Petty Reed level of of of. Uh, well, apparently they've been they've been execution. working. Yeah, they've been working. So my understanding is, after wrapping the the trilogy of the Batman trilogy, this is the project they started shortly thereafter. Okay. Um, and if you think of Arkham Knight when that came out, it's like. It is a while ago, and they just introduced this game in 2020. We're now in almost the end of 2021. I really haven't mm-hmm. heard much since. So they, this is what they've been doing. The game is open world, third person. Uh, it does. Uh, it's supposed to include some sort of co-op, op- optional co-op uh, gamer as well, gameplay as well. Excuse me. Um, it seems bold. It seems big. It seems. It's it, there is some question marks, but not on the as you mentioned, not on the pedigree, just more on what is it you're trying to do? Because it is possible to bite off more than you can chew. You know, uh, sure. uh, Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. You know, the perfect example is like you know <laughs> they, you know, people are like oh it runs like shit on PC. It's not running great on PC either. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like not they really great on anything. Yeah, it's like they really bit off way more than they can chew in the world that they were trying to create. And that's still a possibility. I don't think, I'm not saying that uh, Rock City is going to do that, but there, and there lies the question mark is what I'm trying to say. And yeah. I am cautiously optimistic because of it. Um, I did like the trailer and I did like what they were trying to go for. I am a little bit more into Suicide Squad than you are. So I get that. Mm. 
I did like the most recent uh, Suicide, Su- Suicide Squad film, mm-hmm. even though part of me wanted to hate it because of how shit the first one was. But, um, <laughs> you know, it, it just there's something there and I'm curious about it. Um, but I definitely feel like they're not going to half ass this. If there's one thing I would definitely say is they're going to go all out on all the all the features on here. So this is not going to be some sort of cash grab or anything like that. This is definitely uh, going to be a project that I feel is going to um, f- feel, you know, a big and, and, and try to do everything they can do. But yeah. uh, all right. On to some weirder weirder unknown game I, I, unknown <laughs> games i guess you could say and not unknown but uh bethesda believe it or not and machine games uh is making Ooh. an indiana jones game um so maybe Ooh. you've heard of that one um no i have not oh maybe i did at one point and it just you forgot it? Yeah. It, it was just too weird yeah. uh, <laughs> it's like this is bullshit stop this is, this and is move on happen. come on yeah. Fuck uh, out of here with yeah. that mess. Wolfenstein developer, machine game. Wolfenstein developer. Think yeah, about machine that for games. A Just think about that for a second. <laughs> Wolfenstein developer, machine, machine game, game is making an Indiana Jones title. Uh, this was announced, and obviously this is in conjunction with LucasArts. Um, machine game is good. You know what I mean? Um, I can't say they're the greatest shown- because they also made the, the last... Uh, Freaking Wolfenstein! I can't remember the Young Bloods. Oh, the that, Young wasn't, Bloods yeah, one. that wasn't that wasn't exactly the best. Yeah, was uh, that them? I, wasn't it? Was it not them? Fuck! I no, I, 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 don't, I, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't recall. It was just. It was so half-assed. That it just feels like it was somebody. <laughs> I can't else. possibly believe it was them. They was probably just given to. <laughs> yeah, that it was, was hilarious. Given to see. Someone. But there's a. Oh, it is it te- yeah developer machine games arcane studios was apparently involved in panic panic button games uh, okay so too many maybe, maybe arcane okay. you know too much arcane in there a little too, too much, much arcane, arcane. <laughs> <laughs> um what do you think what are your thoughts on this one sir it's 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 bethesda first of all it's bethesda and we all know that means this is locked behind uh oh. xbox uh doors so um, yeah, at least, at least for a period of time, a minimum for a period of time, not forever. Man. Um, so what do you think on that one? I feel like I already have uh, Indiana Jones games that I like, which is called Uncharted. So thank you very much. Have a nice day. <laughs> All right. Um, I will agree uh, that I do love the Uncharted games. They're very Indiana Jones. Of course, they don't pl- take place in the you know world war ii time <laughs> um but that's fine um i also know that you haven't seen the film so you don't have a connection to the, uh, <laughs> to the thing, so exactly it is what it is uh all right moving on to the next one we have avatar frontiers of pandora avatar uh this is coming from massive entertainment massive entertainment if you know of course is your one of your faves uh uh ubisoft what the fuck is it called my god the the division the division uh, so this is uh obviously ubisoft and massive means this is open world obviously it's <laughs> open world <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I, don't know that. I don't care about the franchise enough to get excited and that means that i'm getting less division so <laughs> fuck this game fuck it's this gonna game. be a total yeah. bust uh zero out of Five. Do not buy this. First game. off, it's it's one. Sir. We we don't have a zero. Oh, that's right. We but, don't have zero. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's Avatar: zero. Fr- uh, Frontiers of Pandora is a first person, which I actually think I didn't even know that first person Ooh. action adventure game by Massive Entertainment. Um, I still feel, and I will always feel, that Avatar, the franchise, mm. is the most overrated franchise ever created ever i all. agree I, I there was not i i don't get me wrong i i'm not saying i didn't enjoy the film i did enjoy it mm-hmm. but dear lord where people are just like oh my god this is amazing it's like no it's not yes the special effects are really good but in mm-hmm. the end the story is very basic <laughs> you yes. know what i mean so it's like there's not a lot here uh so i still feel it's a very over and long well, not to mention you a very bloated very, yeah. film yeah yeah yes uh, yes yeah. i feel the same way it it just yeah it just feels like an overrated film i don't particularly like this story has been told many times before already 
uh, and and I don't particularly love the design of it. So like I have never like I have no like I I, I wish I hope the game is good so people that are fans of the city can enjoy it. But I'm not gonna you know get out of the way to to get this you know unless they say it's some sort of like miracle game you know yeah no, exactly. but, but even Which then not, if i don't so let's be real. if i don't like that like it could be i mean look at fucking red Dead redemption 2 it's 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 for all intended purposes one of the most amazing games of all time and i just never played it because i never got into it because i don't care about cowboys so it, you know, so even if they say, "Oh, Avatar is gonna be uh, it, it's the best game ever made," it's probably like, "Well, cool." I still don't like the design. I still don't like the characters, and I, I don't want to be a blue guy. So I, I agree, one hundred percent, sir, one hundred percent. All right, let's go on to Hogwarts Legacy, uh, coming uh, from oh, WB. Uh, coming to PS4, PS5, Xbox One, etc. The whole whatever. Um, I have to say, this is just probably mm-hmm. me. I am mm-hmm. curious, just curious. I have mm-hmm. seen some of the trailers. I understand what they're going for. This is a uh, this is an RPG uh, with wizards, and if done and oh, by the way, there's no boy who survived. Right? It's, it does include Harry Potter. Uh, this actually mm-hmm. takes place in like 1800s, so it's you know nice new material yes. um, in a world that existed for, for, for so long. I am curious and I've watched all the Harry Potter films and whatever. It, it's, it's not even about that. The, the world was always kind of interesting. Mm. Um, so yeah. Curious is the most I can say. <laughs> the most, <laughs> most I can give it is I oh, am yeah. curious because it does look good. It does look like, Oh shit. They're really putting like some, something into this yeah right. uh and so that's all i can say where, where are you at in this way i assume i I'm, I'm you know i'm excited for it to be coming out and 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 uh looking good so that harry potter fans can leave me the fuck alone and not talk about <laughs> a, 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 another a harry potter game that they're they're so thirsty for a good harry potter game and we recent there hasn't been one there hasn't been one, yeah. so uh, except for the lego apparently i hear that that's what except I for the lego one yeah exactly so so yeah good for them another property that i mean don't get me wrong i did enjoy the harry potter films and movie and all that but that's not necessarily the world i want to invest time in a game so i'll probably just be happy for the people that are happy with it. Yeah, I kind of agree. Uh, all right. Uh, keeping in the WB and, of course, keeping actually in going, WB. Back to, going back to DC, we have Gotham Knights, which is uh, everybody but Batman. <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> you play everyone but Batman. Uh, Batgirl, <laughs> Nightwing, Robin, and uh and Red Hood uh is who who you play in this Batman is apparently like, dead. No, no, the developers could get get could, could, could get like no, I want to play Batman. No, I want to play Batman. No, I want to be Batman this time. And then the CEO was like, you know what? No one plays no Batman. One, no one's fucking playing Batman. How about that? No, oh no, Batman. Yeah. This got, I can tell this is gonna be an issue. <laughs> exactly. Um, this Part is the smartest uh, decision ever. <laughs> It could be, yeah. Uh, open world action RPG. Obviously, we we know this is coming from the WB guys, not Rocksteady. Uh, and we all know Arkham Origins is the stepchild, you know, in in the mm, entire series. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so this is this is the biggest wait and see I've ever seen. Well, I was excited until until now. <laughs> you said that. No, no, no. The moment I saw the, you know the, this game, I was like, what the hell is that? And, but it does have some cool moments on, you know, showing in. I was like, okay, I could be down with it. Yeah. But yeah, this is a huge way to see just a based waste. on the pedigree of oh, the okay. of the developer. I agree. 100%. They haven't really demonstrated a hundred percent. All right, <laughs> so, final two, final two. Um, oh. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm gonna do this in order from least to best, uh, meaning least <laughs> that I, you know, not that I'm, you know, not faith you know i have no faith it's just who knows uh of course that is ubisoft's unannounced star wars game 
Uh, LucasArts, obviously, as you know, is already ending their deal with EA. Thank God. Uh, yes, so their first official, uh, I guess, matchup would be with Ubisoft announcing that they're doing an epic story-driven open-world RPG set in the galaxy far, far away. Um, and also being done by Massive Entertainment. How about that? Yes. How about that? <laughs> How, about How about that? How about that? Suddenly they're doing all them uh, license games. Yeah. Yeah. There's <laughs> apparently money back there somewhere. Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to go with, yeah, I think this is going to be a solid seven. Or I guess in our book. Uh, uh, I'm going to just say people, it's not because it's just Star Wars. It's just it's because, because it's Ubisoft. It's Ubisoft. Oh, and listen, not that Ubisoft is bad because they're not bad and they don't make uh, bad games, but they do make bad decisions sometimes. They don't make bad. Yes, games. yes, um, they, yes, they do. Yes, they do. Yeah. And this could end up being hot garbage for all we know. But yeah. I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt because lately Ubisoft has given me some of the most entertaining pieces of entertainment, <laughs> entertaining, entertaining games uh, that that I've that I've played, uh, I, I got. I, I have to admit, I, I went from not giving a shit about Assassin's Creed to really liking uh, the last two iterations at least, and probably the 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 you know the origins also. If I would have played it, mm-hmm. but I think I own it anyway. Um, the also you know the division. To notwithstanding, of course, I've been, you know, I I play that every now and then, and uh, and the Far Cry and this Far Cry that is coming out, which I already know it's not gonna be. This is not a game changer, uh, game by any means, but it seems like it's gonna be a a, a nice iteration on a formula that I've already played and enjoyed, so I'm okay mm-hmm. with it. So hearing them making a Star Wars game, first of all, I'm excited about the fact that the Star Wars franchise is being given to anybody else other than EA, because that means that we can get more diverse games. Uh, and if I like, I happen to enjoy the design of the Ubisoft open world games, believe it or not, not all the time, not not all the time. Sometimes they fill the map with like garbage and then it just becomes tedious. But when they show some restraint, they make some of the most beautiful worlds to explore that you want to be, you know, and, and that is what has me, uh, you know, excited for it and not expecting also a 10 and I probably, probably a seven. Yeah. I might be okay with that just because of the of of the nature of the enjoyment I get from this type of games, okay. but I realize that's just me. Yeah, I got you. I have don't no... like Star Wars. Yeah, <laughs> you're, I, you're I, mean, Star Wars. I am. Uh, yeah, I'm in a very love hate relationship right now with Star Wars. <laughs> uh, Ubisoft is the open world king, which means there's zero focus on half of their games, if not more. Uh, uh-huh. Focus as far as story, story focus, yeah. um, and so yeah, I don't know, I don't know, um, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know <laughs> All right, sir, the last one on the list, Ooh, the last one, uh, the, the last one that one. I have the highest um, hope. Doubt? For. Uh, oh, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. The highest hope for. I wouldn't save doubt for the end. Come on, we gotta we gotta end <laughs> in a high note here, you know. Um. And that is, of course, Project 007 from IO Interactive. Um, oh, I forgot about that one. Yes, James Holy Bond. Shit. Yes, uh, that is yes. happening. Yes, uh, that's absolutely appears. Uh, so IO uh, Interactive is going to have a fresh um, look into uh, Agent 007 in their next game. Uh, as we all know, it is called Project 007 for the moment. Uh, yet the prospect of the developer match with the material is a bit mouthwatering. And I kind of have to. <laughs> um, obviously, if you don't know who IO Interactive is, first off, 
I'm going to need you to kick your own self in the ass real quick. Uh, uh-huh. And then I want to tell you that they are the makers of the Hitman series, uh, longtime uh, creators of the series, and yes. have really refined that game to the highest level. Possible. Oh, they're fucking perfect. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And to think that these guys are now in, ch- you know, have been given the, the license to the bond uh, game where it's like, uh, yes, I want yes. lots of that. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Give me I some of that. Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. It's like, especially because Hitman is a perfect James Bond game. Oh my game. God. Yeah. exactly what he is. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, it's a little, it is a little on the nose because of that. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, yeah. well, clearly you, you picked them because of this, or they came together because of this. Um, but at the same time, it's like, it's still James Bond. It's not going to have the same story. It's going to have more, I would hope, an original story. Uh-huh. Nothing movie related. Um, just create a create a whole new thing. And I think I think I think most devs and, and publishers will figure that out. It's like, let's mm. not stick to any movie. Let's make our own thing if we're gonna do this. So yeah. um anyway, I think that is my most not anticipated, but definitely hopeful. Uh, because IO is now independent, so they get to, you know make uh decisions stuff like that on their own and and, and mm. really kind of live outside the box of a publisher and props to them and i get why they accepted this as well because regardless of anything as independent you gotta have money you, you need money oh, yeah. you know what i mean and so how else do you do that if you if you don't bring you know uh, one of these and to have them do that and and and, and come you know try to deliver a, a double seven game uh i mean you really think of the last good one was Goldeneye. And yeah. if you really think about it, it really wasn't good. It was just good for its time. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was, just, it was interesting and fun for its time. But and it yeah. was also that was very licensed because it was based on the film. Uh so that means you're just yeah. following along with the stories of the film. So overall really not the best uh game. And most of the double sevens after that were all based on films that came after. So this is yeah. I'm hoping uh an original uh since we already know first of all it's not coming out soon and the new movie's coming out soon and we don't even know who the next bond is so uh it should not be tied to any film so uh so yeah that's uh that's our list there sir any uh any final thoughts oh well what can i say the the I, i'm a, i'm always like the um uh, like I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big uh, fan of James Bond's films in, in general, and and I do recall there was a game, there was another James Bond game that that was quite alright, but we haven't had it a long time. This is probably I'm talking about probably the Xbox era. Oh wow! Uh, okay. the, the, the 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 moment I heard I an interaction was IO Interactive was in charge of, uh, uh, uh you know they were they, they were handling a a next uh fucking James Bond title, uh, I was like, of course, that that is the perfect marriage. That perfect makes marriage, perfect yeah. sense. Yes, mm-hmm. yeah. So I doesn't am also make very excited. sense until you hear it and you go, oh, of course. Of yeah, course, yeah. of like, course. Yeah. That's another one that is like, oh, yeah, I trust you guys implicitly. You guys have demonstrated it over and over. I mean, granted, by doing very similar thing. thing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But still, yeah. when I think about a James Bond, it's a game, it's almost like, yeah, I don't want the same, but uh, you know, the the, the elements are there. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, elements yeah, are yeah. there, yeah. you know, to make you know to, to to make something special. So I'll be okay. The only thing I've always found about the Hitman games is that I found their movement a little stiff, but yes. that's just especially early. You know, on. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, but I, I still think they're excellent, excellent games. They're still very fun. So, so yeah, man. This one gets this yeah, this one probably gets the number one spot also for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. For for anticipation at least. Yeah. No sure. doubt. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to what is probably one of our longest episodes. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, as always, if you haven't already, please go to goodgame.rocks, join the conversation there, and of course, please like, subscribe, and share the podcast with everyone. Uh, this is Mad Dog signing off for this week. Mr. David Santos, take us home. I usually uh, close with 
uh, uh, something silly or dumb or stupid or nonsensical. But this time I'm going to close with a quick PSA. Um, uh, you guys know that New World uh, just uh, was released this week, and we actually mentioned it on our game's radar. Um, careful with this game, guys. Uh, apparently, uh, if you guys remember last, uh, I think it was on August, maybe, that when the beta was happening, there were reports of uh, of of the game itself being able to like fry up some video cards due to the way that it was handling uh the 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 frame rates and and stuff like that so uh evidently that seems to still be a problem uh so if you guys uh already bought this game and are playing it first of all i would suggest do not under any circumstance run it on an overclock video card even if that overclock came from factory i would suggest toning those down it's okay you're not gonna lose a lot of performance on the game a and b this is not the type of game that probably needs that much of performance you know if anything you probably lose like three or four or five frame rates it's not gonna kill you and i am a frame rate freak so uh i believe me in this day and age where you can't get a video card if yours get broken, Te jodiste. that's not gonna be a good time. No, no. And I thought this was isolated more to like the high end video cards because, like, they were the ones that were running that that the, the were drawing more power than anything else. So therefore, more power equals more heat, which is the what's been killing them. But apparently, this seems to be a little bit more widespread, or mm-hmm. at least re- uh, on, on reports. So. I don't know if if you insist on uh, on play on playing this game. Uh, just just I would recommend down clocking it a little bit. In, if you don't know what that is, then watch some YouTube yeah. videos. <laughs> You're gonna need to. You should learn. probably not be messing with this if you because don't know that's what that PC is. gaming. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. Well, on that note, we will see you next week. Ginger.